Welcome. Hello, Dark Side. What is up? Well, I mean, there's always there's always other days in the week. Um, is your um partner still like living with you or no? Well, I say living. You know, I I, I guess a better way of wording it would be like visiting. My name is Jujutsu. The 30th? That was actually quite a while ago. Also, hello, Lena, and, um, same Lena. Also, hello, Careful, as well. Thank you very much for the T1 subscription for 21 months. Appreciate this. Uh, appreciate it. Welcome back to the <coughs> Pipple Foundation. Uh, Chocolate Creek Nation. Pipple only wants me to money. I do not know what that means, but thank you again for the sub and the continued support, and I hope you are having a good day. You are free to do whatever you want with your purchases, Mr. Careful, sir. Paycheck arrived and I forgot I had overtime, so I got like 10 more than expected. I mean, yeah. I mean, that that extra 10, I mean, you can buy an extra couple things with that, potentially. Although that, that reminds me of that meme where it's like... $20 is $20, motherfuckers, when I pull out a $50 bill. Yeah, we should, like, overthrow the government like a boss. Speaking of government stealing money, you should you should have seen how, because I I don't think you were here. I don't even know if it was before you were in my chat. Like, you, um, but I I remember somebody complaining before about like I had you know because because like, the yeah, Americans are mostly in my chat. I was like, you know, so and so states have really high tax. They have like twelve percent tax, and I'm just over here like. This country's taxed 20%, man. What the fuck? Ouch. Yeah, yeah, no, tw 12 is fucking nothing. But yeah, no, there's a lot of states where, only, where they only get taxed like 8%. Hello, fresh. In it to you too, bruv. I don't know how I managed that just then. We pay 20% on anything that, like, is not considered essential. Um. Welcome. So, I don't think, like, bread is taxed. But, like, some nice fucking Oreos or whatever. Those things are obviously gonna get taxed. Fortunately. And even though I be British AF, 
and every British person be like fish and chips. Still taxed, my precious fish and chips. Yeah. Europe is just taxed to high heaven, I feel like. Just like in general. Dude, th there's, there's been a bird outside like pissing me off all day. I, you know, I have the window open. The bird sounds exactly like. Like, okay, so my dog has, like, fucking separation anxiety or whatever. Howls and shit when she thinks that no one's in the house. When I'm just in the attic and my parents leave and she doesn't know that I'm still here, she'll start, like, howling and crying and stuff. And one of the howls that she does sounds literally the exact same as the sound that this fucking bird outside is making. They they like like you know you know when people found out the Sansa's voice was uh, Patrick saying the word maybe and and how like when you put them like side by side in like an audio thing they are like literally identical like that is that is like the same thing with this bird and my dog they sound exactly the fucking same. And it's really bothering me, because it's really fucking annoying. So I'm gonna put my- I usually have this off, I'm keeping the headphone on. Tell you what. Shit's staying on. Dude, I swear I must have some, like, invisible riz or something, because... As of, like, the past couple months... I'm getting, like, a lot of Snapchat friend recommendations. Right? Like, one every other day at least. And you know what's weird? I, I, I've gotten, I've gotten like, 35 in the past couple months, probably. And of those, like, 35-ish, like, over 30 of them have been... women. Which makes me think that I have some sort of, like, invisible Snapchat riz. Granted, it's not them sending me a friend request. It's a friend suggestion, but why is it, like, all women? <laughs> Alright, I think Snapchat's trying to tell me something, bro. I don't really use Snapchat, really. I, I got it in 20, like, 17 to try and riz someone. <laughs> but, um... I, I didn't really, like, use it much. It, it would just be kind of like a... For example, a friend would, like, post a story, and then I'd reply to the story, and then we'd have a conversation, and it just so happened to be on Snapchat. I'm not gonna be like, you know, hey, can we take this conversation to, uh, wherever else? You know, like, it just, it just, uh, do not be like that. Can't be asked, so just fucking... So, I was only talking to people on Snapchat because they already, like, had Snapchat and were posting on Snapchat, but I don't know. I never really... I almost never posted stories on Snapchat. I... You know, again, I didn't really do fuck all on Snapchat. Just a few conversations here and there. Uh, the reason why Snapchat was made was, uh, to send nudes. Like, that is literally, like, why it was made. But then it got, it got re -pipused. That's why, like, messages delete themselves. Like, that was, like, the entire point. Uh, its original name was Peekaboo. <laughs> So 
Snapchat also in incentivizes uh, communication with each other or like getting you to open the app. There's like a trend called like streaks. I don't really know if they're popular anymore, but they definitely were way back in the day. Where like you could, if you sent like a snap to somebody like for a few days in a row, it, it'd start having a number, and some people would like s snap each other like once a day. Just to get the streak up, and, and I got a streak, like, to, like, 80 days or something. But yeah, no, it was stupid. Like, after after that, because I, I actually fumbled the streak. At that point, I was just like, alright, man, I ain't doing this anymore. Yeah, no, it did. Or, uh, they would, like, draw on the phone, just do an S. You know, just like, like that's that's the kind of shit that we do. But it, it it incentivizes people to open the app, and then because you've already opened the app, you might as well click on stories. And then because you clicked on stories, you're gonna see some ads, which means the Snapchat makes money off of you. And they can report like higher, like better data. Like they can report like, oh, this many people are on our platform. You know, even if it was just for like five seconds. And if somebody posts a story, you'll then somewhat likely to message them regarding the story. So it did just just any way to get you in. I don't even think I don't even know if like people do streaks anymore. Like I I think that's a thing of the past. Apps evolve. I mean, TikTok's evolved. When when TikTok was made, like obviously everybody just like duetted and just made fun of the person. But now that's that like never really happens anymore. Now people post skits on there, Family Guy funny moments, and even when they do duets, it's usually the original person was also memeing. Or or rather, sometimes when it is like a, a duet and it's not, and it's not like the original person was not memeing, it's usually more lighthearted rather than kind of like harsh like it was before, like making fun of somebody's laugh or something like that, you know. Whereas now, it would just be like, and they they just like say a quote and then it'll just be like I don't know, oh, Walter White said that. All right, Walter White clip on the on the left side of the screen, you know. See, yeah, no, that that actually, and I've heard that guy's voice before. I'm pretty sure I saw a tweet before of the same type of thing, you know, posting, like, scrolling through their shorts, and it's like, top five times Chris farted, and it's like, and then you scroll, top five times uh, Stewie s stopped using his British accent, and it just keeps going like that. I, I think... I swear to God, it must be that guy, because, like, I heard the voice and, like, something clicked in my brain. And, like, I, I, I swear I've heard that voice saying top five family guy, whatever, this and that. I think that's just what they do. Yeah, it's, like, the most random shit. Swimming pool moments. Who the fuck... Who's keeping track? Who's keeping track, man? I've watched every Family Guy episode. I wasn't keeping track of the five times I went in the fucking pool. I bet they have been in the pool five times, but, like, why Why would Why would I, like... I? How do they get this information? Like, do they have... Do they hire somebody to, like, watch every episode, but then he has to know to, like, every single thing ever that happens every frame so that they can cross-reference... I just don't understand how you're supposed to, like, find these clips otherwise. Top five times, uh, Lois died of her. Top five times, uh, Brian really acted like a dog. Top five times Brian interacted with cats. Top five times uh, babies were just as smart as Stewie. 
How about five times where you actually proved your worth on the YouTube platform? I feel like you'd really struggle to find those five reasons. Real. I mean, I guess anybody could post whatever they want on YouTube, but... I mean, hell, I've been thinking recently, um, I, I have, obviously, the second channel. I was thinking of doing videos, not, like, long series, but, like, a video or two of me, like, playing a game, essentially, like, some sort of Let's Play thing. And, obviously, when you see that initially, it's like, oh, it's, like, lazy content, but, like, I just kind of want to do it because it's, like... Nobody, in, in like, in, in the grand scheme of things, out of, you know, considering the average YouTube video probably gets, like, tens of thousands of views, like, when you, you know, collectively. My, if I did that, my video would get, like, 40 views, so it, like, it's not like, you know. I've also kind of wanted to make videos of me just kind of, like, reacting to, well, I, I do record my reactions to, like, Nintendo Directs and stuff like that, but I was just thinking, like... What if I just uploaded that to YouTube? Because it's like, it, it it's like, you know, yeah, it's lazy content. And I literally re complained about reaction channels yesterday. But because I'm a nobody, but and on the second channel, I'd get like 40 views. Like, does it really matter what I post? If I, you know, if I just want to post it because I feel like it, should I, should I like do that? I don't know. So I, that's what I've been thinking of, things like that. I wish. Anyway, hello, Jason. Mira, how's it going today? Um, nah, it wouldn't be like clickbait thumbnail and like with like a webcam with like fifty percent boobage. It would literally just be like because I already re I already record my reactions to Nintendo Directs and stuff like that. Um, I already record my reactions to that stuff, uh, when my friends in the VC, I just don't upload them anywhere, and I was just thinking, like, what if I did upload them, because, like, it, it, otherwise they're just rotting on the hard drive, so if I upload them on my second channel, which is just, like, you know, like a, just, you know, kind of like a dump channel anyway, I just figured, like, at that point it's not hurting anybody, you know? I'm surprised I worked. Well, I wasn't ignoring your question. I was just getting to it because I wanted to respond to the other questions first. There was nothing to respond to in the DM, so I didn't. Reacts to TikTok, she steals. Now just be like genuine. It's like it's like like reacting how I normally would, except OBS just so happens to be recording, like that kind of thing. You have to get I can't even remember what I mean. Wasn't it a GIF or something? I didn't know that, Mira. However, that does make me that does make me a little happy. <laughs> I know that they should not be prom promoing uh, Sniper Wolf, but at least there's a tiny bit of justice in this world, am I right?
Well, yeah, logically, because he owns the rights to the videos, there's no good reason why they shouldn't be featured. I just... I just don't like him. Anyway, Jess, the reason why I didn't respond is because I... Well, first of all, there's nothing to respond to, and second, I feel like... I mean, considering... I, I got a notification from you, and then I clicked on DMs, and then nothing was there, and then you sent me another notification, and then you sent me that GIF. I feel like it was pretty obvious to, to you know, to an extent that you were in my DMs trying to control F, search up something, you accidentally typed the letter F and press enter, then you freaked out, deleted the message, and then sent a GIF to try and make me think that that was the only notification that you sent. Well, then why would you send something and then delete it? Right. Yeah, I mean, YouTube, uh, YouTube's double... I mean, yeah, tw Twitch has the same problem. I mean, every a lot of platforms have the same problem. It's not, like, really unique to YouTube, I feel like. If I accidentally send the wrong thing to somebody and it, I could... I would just be like... Didn't mean to send that, and then you send the actual thing that you meant to send. Super spin cycle. Well, not really, because then, obviously, I was able to make my own assumption based on the events that occurred, whereas you could have just, like... cleared yourself up before the misinterpretation could have been made. There was a girl who, like, literally had sex on stream. Like, you couldn't see them having sex, but, well, because of a reflection off, like, the windows, you could tell that they were having sex. And she only got banned for, I don't remember how long, I think it was a week. There, There is very clear, like, sexism on Twitch. Like, they very clearly favor women. However, I've stopped complaining about it as much, because I feel like in life, men have the advantage in 9 out of 10 things. So for women to have the advantage, like, one time, I don't know, I feel like it's a little hard to complain about it in that regard, because I do feel like men just have easier, better lives most of the time in, in the real world, so I, I feel like it's it's hard to complain about it, them having the advantage on, like, a website, which is why the run's dead, I missed a two-frame. I haven't missed that one before, I don't think. It, it reminds me of, um, a guy uh, before said, um, it was one of those situations where because of where you're from, you say a certain word, but then it actually turns out to be a bad word. You know how, like, you know, when, you know, you know the word that British people use for cigarette, you know, it's like that kind of thing. So they, so they said a word that in it, where they live means something different. However, to everybody else, it's fucking racist. So they said something racist, the guy got banned. I don't remember for how long, but it was for at least a week. I'm positive it was at least a week. On the same exact day, a, wo a woman... Keep in mind as well that the guy was playing an 18-plus game. She's playing Fortnite, so more ki kids are more likely to, to see, you know. And she said the N-word. I can't remember if it was hard R or not, but she said the N-word. If I recall, she got a one-day ban. But again, I try, I try not to complain about it as much, because... Manager coming through. You know what? 
I, I feel I still feel like men have the advantage like in the real world like most of the time so it's like yeah I wasn't saying that that was racist dioxide I was I was making a comparison of a situation where like a large group of people say a word because it means something different to them. Like how British people say the F word because to them it means cigarette. This guy said a completely different word, even though to everybody else it's fucking racist. But to this guy, and where he lives, it's not, is what I was saying. Yeah. So he said something racist, uh, even though he didn't mean to, and he got banned. Your favorite channel, Lena, has been nagging me non-stop to show up to the stream again. And I get met with foul attitude and avoidance. Avoidance because I didn't respond to your message of, like, a, a red st a Minecraft gif of redstone that makes it look like someone's getting jerked off. Is what I didn't respond to. And because, obviously, because we hadn't talked in a long time, and then I get a ping and I click on on it, and it's just like... Like, because that is literally exactly what I would do. Like, if I was snooping in someone's DMs, I and then I accidentally typed, I would genuinely... If, if I didn't want to talk to... Like, okay, if I didn't talk to somebody for a long time and I wanted to snoop in their DMs, I go in DMs, and then if I accidentally type something, I'd either try and play it off, or more likely, I'd panic and delete the fucking message, and then quickly respond with, like, the fucking quickest video or gif that I can find, so that I can be like, oh, uh, yeah, this is this is what I sent, lol, lmao. Like, it, it just looks like it was quickly thrown together, like, trying to kind of pass it off. Well, you know, you know, I'm starting to, I'm, st I, I, I've, been, I've been starting to believe you. I'm just saying, you gotta understand where I'm coming from because if I were trying to snoop in DMs, that is exactly what I would do. And when I saw that, it was like, all right, this is like, like you, you can, the, the, what you make assumptions and things in life based off of your own experiences because you don't know how somebody is going to react, so you have to base it off of how you would react, and that is how I would react. So, yeah. I don't know. Also, I don't know who Johnny Somali is. I don't know who that is, but... I have seen an, uh, an increase in, like, streamers, uh, being weird in Japan. And I feel like it's gonna make Japan kind of, like, be weird. I, I mean, obviously, there's already a bit of a stigma with, like, Japan and foreigners, but I feel like it's just gonna be, like, worse. You know? Because now they might genuinely get seen as, like, loud, disruptive, like, you know. And it's just like, bruh. Speaking of bruh. Um, hello. Slickook. I don't know if that's how I say that, but... Hello. Um, I haven't been playing for long, but I already got, like, it wasn't a good run, but I already got a run going. Like, not, like, and I've only been streaming for 30 minutes, so. You can retract your statement, but you can't retract these nuts from your mouth. Okay. Welcome. Well, I mean, you can favor gifts, so literally, like, if I was panicking, I would, I would just quickly click on gifts and just fucking send something immediately. Kick supports him. Yeah, I... Like, like I said before, even if Twitch, like, died, I would just not go to kick until they actually, like... Fix, fix themselves, but like I, I've se like I feel like these uh, streamers, uh, Trainwreck I think his name is yeah, um he donated some new streamer like he was streaming he was new to Kick uh, he I think he used to stream on Twitch he streamed on he's streaming on Kick now, 
Trainwreck saw that and just gave him five grand. And I'm just like, holy fuck, bro, that could be me. I, I Like, if I just pretend to like him for a minute, he could give me five grand. Like, I want five grand. Favorite a gif because it's funny. I, I have favorite gifs of like memes that are basically just like slightly or more extreme, not safe for work things because it's like funny. Also, um. Yeah, the reason why I turn the I flick I flick the camera there is because of lag reduction. It's the only lag reduction in the run, I think. Yeah, it is. Well, th there's one other place where I t I turn the camera, but I don't know if it reduces lag or not. It just feels like it does, so I do it. But I know for a fact that no cheese reduces lag. Alright, Jess, I mean, I feel like I'm at the point now where I, I do genuinely believe your story. I'm just, I was just saying. Didn't, didn't, didn't look good at first. Didn't look good. How come you blocked, uh, Dextero? They appear on my timeline pretty frequently, but they're not, like, annoying, so I don't, like, block them or anything. Yeah, sometimes some of the stuff they say is like slightly incorrect or whatever, but that's but then the community notes, which actually uh, brings me to a very recent example actually of that. Twitter now has, or I think I don't know if it's going to happen or if it already has happened, but they at the very least want to release an update soon, which basically hides quote tweets. Like, you know when you click on a tweet and it says how many quotes there are? They want to hide that. And instead, you have to, like, click on, like, three dots. And then you have to, and then you have to select, like, quotes from there. So, yeah. The, the man of free speech wants to suppress your free speech. Because he kept getting ratioed by quote tweets. And people will still defend him to the grave. It always will. It it always will get worse. I had the I had the thought of it'll always get worse months ago, and it still has continued to get worse. It will get worse. Like there is no, with YouTube and Twitch, there is the hope of things will get better eventually, like that kind of thing. And sometimes they do. Twitter will never get- as long as you see your like, Twitter will never- it, it'll always get worse. And I'm confident in, in actually saying that this time. That it will always get worse. And there's only like, two good things I can think of since he came to see you. One of them is literally the community notes, which get used against him, by the way. <laughs> so I wouldn't be surprised if they suddenly disappear as well one day. But yeah, just like almost everything is either the same or worse. I mean, there's a DM limit unless you're a verified user, for example. And by default, your account is set so that only verified users can, like, message- uh, can DM you, I think, on Twitter. Which fucks over loads of artists, by the way, if they don't know that that option's enabled. And, and keep in mind that, 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 that there were talks before 
It didn't happen, but there were talks before about removing the block button entirely. And if that, I, I, I just, considering it was talked about, I feel like it's almost inevitable that it will exist, that that will happen at some point. Anything that he has an idea for, he just basically always goes with it, no matter how fucking bad it is. Rate limit? I don't know. <laughs> 15 seconds loading into no cheese. I mean, that's just the GameCube experience, bro. Um... Really? I don't remember them. I don't know. M memory loss? I don't. I don't remember. Also, hello, Skywise. But again, people people will defend them to the grave. It's just been like almost nothing good. E e like. You, you, know, you know when something is, like, basically ind indefensible, indefendable, indefensible, I don't know, and it's, it's like, physically impossible to defend it, and then you'll still have people defend it anyway? It, it, it like, just defies, like, all logic and meaning, and it, it is just, it cannot be done, and somehow they do it anyway. Now that you mention it, actually, I feel like I kind of remember this guy. But, but wasn't that more so just, like, censoring a tweet because it has inaccurate... Oh, wait, no, 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 it was, it was during... It, wasn't it during COVID or something? Uh... But that was a little different, though, because it was, it was less... presented as uh, a community note, and more so, like... Like, hey, this is from, like, the higher-ups of, of Twitter. Like, this guy's just, like, objectively wrong. Yeah, yeah. Hello, Peppa. Thank you for the good luck. I found the nation. I did it. I'm surprised, you, Mira, that you never got the rate limit exceeded thing, because I think for a while everybody was getting that. Welcome. I just don't get how you fuck up, like, so bad. Never fear, good citizens of the also, I, I just want to I just want to say, by the way, that he, he used to do a lot of, like, uh, a lot of votes. Yep. A lot of polls. Until the one where people voted for him to, like drop, uh, to drop a CEO. Which he, he said he would stop being CEO if people voted majority yes. And then if people voted majority yes, and then he just didn't, and he hasn't done votes ever since. Like... Hello, biker. Um, not much. Just trying to... Just trying to live, you know what I mean? How about you? Well, yeah, he's technically... But he still is pretty much CEO. He seems to have just as much control as before, from what I can tell. Thanks. Well, yeah, it, um, yeah. Obviously, I mean, you know. Uh, 
the, uh, the well, with, with that situation, you know, it has already been a little bit since then, and obviously it's just, you know, you just gotta, you know. Although one thing that was kind of, like, annoying, um, my parents had to drive back to England yesterday to, like, retrieve his uh, ashes, and we have them now. Originally, they, my parents specifically requested to keep some of his hair. They got the ashes yesterday. No hair. Just wasn't there. It just was not there. They, they, they asked for the hair, and they said, yeah, we'll do that. And then fast forward like a week and a half or something, and apparently they just have fucking memory loss because there's no hair. Also, by the way, the, the bill was really high because, because the original, because it was like an emergency late hours, like, appointment. So, so, you, you know that meme? You know that meme where it's like, you know, making fun of, like, US, of the US, where it's like, me waiting for the family, um, to stop crying over the dead dad to tell them that the hospital bill was like, Fifty thousand dollars or whatever. That's basically what happened to us. It's just obviously, you know, not fifty thousand dollars, but yeah, like like that that kind of thing. Yeah, that happened. I do not know what that is, Biker. How is anyone supposed to, like, afford that ever? Dude, I, I, feel, I feel like living in America is, like, probably only good if, A, you're a kid, so you don't know of any of the country's problems. Or, B, if you're, like, rich white guy. <laughs> because then if you're rich, then hospital bills don't mean anything to you. And then, obviously, if you're white and a guy, then obviously, you know. But, yeah, then it seems, like, pretty bussin. But then, at that point, like, most first world countries would be good to live in if you're just, like, fucking rich. You know what I mean? Yeah, I, I think I know what 9-11 is, Biker. Also, hello, where do you think for good luck? Appreciate it. Hope you're doing good. Well, I, I just meant, like, because, like, if you're in bad health, then living in the U.S., unless you're, like, rich, is just, like, bordering impossible. Like, like, cause, cause I was just referencing, um, like, you know, U.S. hospital bills that are just, like, absolutely insane. The Queen died a year ago, plus, like, a few days, and I don't know how it's already been a year. Dude, I remember when it happened. I was, I was streaming. I was streaming. And when somebody told me, I was in fucking BBBH, like, uh, trying to get to the SpongeBob warp. I, I remember it really well. And then, the day after, I, I went out, uh, I went to Weather I went to Weatherspoons with my parents. And we were just, ev everything was weird. Everything felt normal, but also weird at the same time. Like, just looking around like, damn, the Queen fucking died, but everybody's just kind of trucking along, you know? It was just kind of like it didn't happen. Just, like, weird. I, I remember having a conversation. I remember exactly what table we sat in as well. It's like, fucking, this is weird. My uncle lives in America. He pays, like, I think it's, like, $500 a, a week, I think, on insurance. Uh, health insurance.
both eyes operated, and the biggest cost for us was the gas for the drive there. That's pretty nuts. I have, like, over the years, you know, I, I broke my arm at one point. I I think I broke my leg as well. And I had to, when, when I passed out and went to the hospital and I had to get, like, all these health checkups, obviously, like, the whole thing, all that was free. I couldn't imagine how much that, that all those tests would have cost otherwise. We would have had probably the money to pay for it, maybe, but, like, holy shit, man. Hello. I hope you enjoy your stay then. In that case. I'm just talking about like US healthcare right now. Um, when the characters interact, like, the more expressive, um, you, you can select a frame rate higher than 60, which obviously you can do in the original. Um, there's just, like, more platforms that the, the remake is on, like, officially. And obviously, because it's, it's a newer product, like, it's easier to get your hands on a new copy, rather than obviously having to go with, like, a used copy. I also think that the sneaking is better because, like, on keyboard, because instead of having to, like, rely on, like, an analog stick, and which might have, like, bad dead zones from overuse, you can instead just, like, hold shift to, like, sneak with Spongebob, which I definitely think is just better in the long term. Um... And, um, they don't make you read, like, 50 billion signs in Pineapple and Jellyfish Fields like they do in the original. And, uh, Robo Sandy and Robo Pat are, like, much faster than before. And that's basically everything I can think of. Most people in the SpongeBob speedrunning community think the, the rehydrator looks terrible. Which is why, you know, I didn't say that, like, the visuals are, like, an improvement. Because I'm surrounded by people, pretty much exclusively people, who think that it looks horrible. Like, you know, saying that it's too, like, oversaturated and stuff. Washed out, that is not the case for the Xbox version. That one has the criticism of being too bright. Obviously, I mean, the thing is, is that what, like, I'm able to, uh, play that game in, like, almost as high quality as what's even possible. Like, officially. How PS2 battle a movie look really terrible. <laughs> um... Yeah, no, there, there were SpongeBob games for console. Um, the two biggest ones being Battle for Bikini Bottom and this game, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie. But there was also, like, Creature from the Krusty Krab... Atlantis Square Pantus, Revenge of the Flying Dutchman, um, Robotic Revenge. It's quite a few of them. Dude, the only time I've ever had a bad experience with knockoff composite cables, I had knockoff ones for N64, and I'm not joking, they added, like, half a second of input lag. 
I, I was seriously, I couldn't believe it. And they were extremely washed out. Oh my god. Get up there. Alright, well, I don't like this trick. to tell us if the train was still running around here this was not happening in practice like i didn't say it earlier but like my practice session was pretty good like nothing really went wrong but this is like acting up for some reason Uh, if you're asking about this, I'm just skipping, like, almost the entire level. But the trick is really hard, and I gotta do it twice. If you try to jump down here normally, there's, like, a, a, a trigger, I guess, that, like, forces you away from um the ground it'll force me like it'll push me right but because so however it is possible to narrowly like around this spot by here when you jump it's possible to get a line where the the force won't push you to the right but then you don't have enough speed so then we have to like build up speed against the railing by just holding left then going up and then timing the jumps well, and then holding, like, down left when it's time to do the second jump. It's pretty hard. Um, it saves, like, over three minutes in most categories, including this one. I don't know, Sky. Y you know what I really like? I, I Have you seen, like, knockoff cable S-video cables where, like... They, like, they look just as good as composite cables, but they have an S-Video input and a yellow input. Like, they have both, for some reason. Like, have you seen it? Because I use that for, um, one of my N64s, and it, and it looks just as good as composite, but, like, then it's like, why are the two cables then? <laughs> Yeah, well, what's funny as well is that that level already had tricks. Like, out of all of the sliding and driving levels, it was one of the first to get, like, tricks. It might have even been the first, it's hard to remember. It had two tricks. One of them saved, uh... You know, for doing it twice, it, like, it saved, like, um, like, over a minute, I think. And then... The second trick twice would save like 40 seconds on top of that. So it, we were already saving a lot of time. But now like this new trick just like skips practically the whole thing. No, it's not. I said this yesterday, but I, I do want to, like, watch the Cosmic Shake World Record at some point. Um, essentially, yes, that is what I did. We, we could, they're called tokens, so we call them token animation skips. Or, you know. So, normally there's a two-frame window to do so, however, I'm, I'm lagging the game to make the window bigger. And I do that with most tokens, though not all of them. 
because some of them you can't generate enough lag for it to be worth, like, generating lag. So you just don't bother. Oh, really, Sky? Is it, like, cool and fast? Oh, that's what you were talking about. Yeah, somebody told me that yesterday. I, uh, I thought you were talking about battle. <laughs> Yeah, I know, but I thought there was, like, a new one, you know? And I was like, wow, that'd be cool. Yeah, that is true. It was appreciated back then, though, because it was considered a break, you know? Like, you know, the game, the late game is so hard that you, like, need a break or whatever. Even though Kel Forest was, like, immediately after and he did, like, nothing in there. The late game after kids is really not bad, like, like in, uh, you know, the 2018 route, it really isn't. But for some reason it's so hard, even though it really shouldn't be. Like, after- okay, so you spend like 30 minutes doing comeback with a cruise bubble, which has no difficulty to it. Then you do one cruise boost, and then you just walk in a straight line for like 50 seconds. And, and then you do, like, a thing that's easy, but it's, like, a little scary, but still a bit easy. And then you get another cruise boost, and then you just do some more walking, basically. And, th and then you just do basically nothing for another minute. Then Kelp, you do nothing for, like... You do, like, one cruise boost, and then, like, one skip that's really easy for, like... And then that's all you do in the span of two minutes and, like, 30-something seconds. And then... Right? You do Squid Stream, which is surprisingly easy. You can even miss a cruise boost and still be completely okay. But even if you need to reload, you'll lose, like, five seconds. It's really not a big deal. Um, and then you do Dutchman, which is hard, but there were, like, two really long cutscenes during it. And then RoboSponge is really easy. But for some reason, it's just hard. Like, even though it's easy, but it's, like, hard. That's kind of funny, Dark Side. A manager is always prepared. The I well, the idea of me having a Steam Deck still, still think about it from time to time, you know. But I will not succumb to the the evils, which which is uh, spending money. Frame rolls. I've lined up a bunch of no cheese, and they all pulls on like the exact same frame, even if I lost frames in movement throughout. So wait, is that why it's so fucking impossible to gold anything? Like no choose. It's a short slide from manager to well, not manager. A manager is always prepared. Well, to be fair, Dark Side, I mean, you know, the the Steam Deck, you know, you might find it more comfortable or whatever, you know, or just the idea of just having all of the stuff that you want on like one system. There's still the you know, maybe you just can't be bothered to charge your 
3DS and, like, the Steam Deck is already on, you know? Like, I, th I think there's still merit to it. Nah, I, I highly doubt it. I've done a lot of load comparisons. And it doesn't seem to be... Like, it... The, the loads in this game are relatively consistent, but it doesn't, you know, they're not, like, it's not gonna be... You know, same, 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 one frame difference, one frame difference, one frame difference, same, 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 it's not gonna be like that. You know what's fucking stupid, right? M movies overall file size is smaller than battles, especially if you remove the, the, um, PowerPoint cutscenes. And for some reason the loads are longer. Like, nice one, Heavy Iron, really, re do a really good job there. The Steam Deck looks so uncomfortable to use, but I've actually, I, because I use my brother's one, and it's actually not, it's so much better to hold than you'd think it is. Even, like, the trackpad thing was surprisingly good, I was really surprised by that, because I hate trackpads. Yeah, I haven't binned any movie mounts to discs either. I did bin movie to a disc just to see how it behave. Uh, turns out it has basically Thompson loads. And it lags so hard that it literally can, like, kind of... Like, if you try to do an up clip or a down clip, it can push Spongebob in a way... Where, like, when he does the up clip, he'll literally just be standing in a different spot and, like... Like, very obviously a different spot. I bet you could. Joystick to mouse's aids. I mean, well, also, uh, there's a reason why I never play, like, shooter games on a fucking controller. Like, I could find a really good deal for a pow pow shooty game on, like, Xbox Series X. I won't play it then, unless it's got, like... Actually, I don't even... Even if it has keyboard and mouse um, options, I still wouldn't use it because the TV's too close to my... Basically, it's 50-inch, the keyboard and mouse are right in front. I, I can't play like that. Although I do actually have a wireless keyboard and mouse, like, I should probably check the delay on that. It might be worth looking into. I would imagine that you're not allowed to burn uh, a battle disc because because if you're doing that, then it's like you could have literally just spent money on like an actual disc. Like you're clearly hiding something, like that kind of thing. I would have been fine with allowing it for movie, but like it's like its lag is so powerful that I just don't think we should allow that unless you're not going to lag. Because it's like, why would you possibly want to use that in the first place? And keep in mind, if on my Xbox it's running like a Thompson, imagine how it actually runs on a Thompson. Pretty crashes all the time.
I think that was just a really quirky 360 emulation bug, TBH. You know one thing I want to actually look into, because it's been so long? I want to look into if 360 actually has, like, slower driving. And you might be thinking, well, of course it does, but... You know, TDS has never been on OG. I never, I was never on NTSC 360. I immediately made the jump from uh, PAL 360 to NTSC OG, so I don't, I don't know. Chris was always on NTSC OG. Like we don't have any, like, and and the thing is as well, right? Is that Chatter? Um, I think. Back in the day, I think he got, like, a time... I swear he got a sandwich driving time on 360 that, even on OG, had, like, hardly ever been accomplished before. So either he was extremely ahead of his time... Despite his lack of hours put into driving for, like, having to be that good... Or there might be a very rare 360 emulation bug where... The driving is not... Where there's a small chance that the driving isn't slower for you for no reason. Because I feel like that could theoretically be possible. Um... Well, uh, when when I was uh, mentioning lag, Sam, I was talking about like forcing lag because of like lag clips and stuff like that. So I feel like burning this game to a disc should only would should, would probably only be allowed if you weren't going to do lag clips and other forms of lag tech that people use. But then at that point, there's literally no reason to burn it to a disc. Might as well just buy the actual disc, it'd probably be cheaper. I don't know, Sky. Um, I know his Nitro route was different, but I, I don't- it's been so long that I genuinely don't know. The thing is, I don't have an NTSC- well, okay, so... I actually do have an NTSC 360 now, I could actually try. Well. It's not an NTSC 360, it's just modded, so I can play. I can put my NTSC disc on it, so I should probably try it out. Because the fastest that anybody's gotten on, uh... Okay, well, that that's the other thing, actually. Um... Oh, wait, no, 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 actually, no, never mind. Yeah, so I actually could test it. Because on OG, like, the best anybody ever got without Out of Bounds... ...was, uh, a 230. Like, I got, like, a really low 230 before, and I, I felt like it was inevitable that 229 was going to happen. Never did because of, because of the uh, out-of-bounds. But, yeah, no, I, th I think um, maybe if I remember later, or if I can be bothered, then maybe I'll boot up my, my 360 and test it out. Because if 360 has faster loads and faster driving, that won't be very good, will it? That won't be very pug champ. But that being said, I've also had a bit of suspicion of, like, some other stuff with the game. I've, uh, theorized, um, PAL and NTSC having different- not just different driving speeds, but different movement speeds when you just move SpongeBob and Patrick around. And the reason why I say this is because, um... Well, first of all, when you, know, you remember when I did that PAL 360 run a few, uh, like a couple months ago? SpongeBob felt like he was moving in fucking slow motion. It, it felt slower than this. Second, um, when I came back to the game initially in 2019, I was running against my 3K split, obviously. I was running against, you know, like my PB split, my 3K. And I... Back then, I had two 3k splits, and I golded the first one by, like, eight seconds or something with nothing dif nothing different. And I, just on the first go, I golded it by, like, eight seconds. 
which just seems like there's there's just like no way, surely. Yeah, pal loads are slower, but I was playing, then I moved to NTSC OG, so the loads kind of... My my loads are faster than my pal 360 loads, but not by much. It wouldn't make an 8 second difference. It'd make like a fucking, like a 2 or 3 second difference. Job for a manager. Vacuuming up manliness, even in the corners. Manager coming through. I'd been I'd been gone for a year and a half. A manager is always prepared. So I wouldn't notice something like that. Hey. Especially because after I stopped playing movie, I ran battle instead. And I, even though I was getting a lot of golds, I just assumed that it was because my movement was better than back then because I'd been playing battle. So I, I really, really don't think, like... I mean, there isn't a good way to test, that's the problem. There's no, like, straight line I can walk in for, like, an entire minute to figure- Well, I guess I could not plank Topolos. Like, out of bounds, I could just, like, do that, maybe? Yeah, I guess I could probably do that. I'd get really antsy, though. I might accidentally wiggle the stick, you know, things like that. SpongeBob. Oh, well, I mean, the D-pad is so bad that I could see myself accidentally, like, moving my thumb in, in the wrong direction eventually. But, I mean, I guess I probably could do that, yeah. And then I'd have to, if there is a difference, I'd have to use math afterwards to figure out, like, how much time Pal loses, like, per minute of walking or whatever. You know what's really funny before? In, in like, really, really, really old Battle Annie Percent, we theorized doing, uh... Crab's dream and like getting one frames off the duplicator trons. And one of the one of the arguments that we had for doing that was that it'd give us like a bunch of shinies and we could skip like two stacks. And we were like, oh yeah, that, that's definitely gonna be in the route in future, bro, when when it's like necessary. I I really wish that campers like became a thing in uh Battle any percent because like that that shit was like the coolest thing ever when I got found But it had no merit it very quickly had no merit after like other things would get discovered faster ways of grabbing other spatulas and More efficient ways of like grabbing the shinies that we needed and things like that and faster ways of obtaining socks too That was a huge one
I'm surprised that VMS wasn't thought to be immediately useful in battle. Uh, any percent. Although, I assume the reason why was because of the lack of the crab dupe originally. Because, um, like, when you, when you think about it, right, like... Like, what reason would you have to do Schultz VMS, like, without Krabs do? Because... And also, the, like, they, I don't think they knew for root, uh, for rooftops that, uh... That rooftops VMS, like, unlocks, like, the box. So you can skip, like, half of rooftops. Because rooftops in itself is actually really slow. But, like, when, when, but you want to do rooftops initially so that you can get shinies for Lighthouse so that you can do the crabs dupe. So, like, it's just kind of, like, necessary to, like, force all that together. Yeah. Also, I, I did flick through your run before of uh, no CB 100%, and I thought it was really funny how many VMSs you had to do. I kind of, I really, I mean, I, I, I tried doing an early game RTA again today, and I missed SDJ like twice in a row, and I was just like, alright, I guess I'm giving them now. What the fuck? What, what was that, man? Like, I, sh I should have bonked, and then I didn't bonk, and then I panicked. Because, like, I... Because I, I, I was like this, like, I clearly should have bonked, and then the game was like, nah, and then I was still going forward, I was like, whoa, like, I haven't nitroed yet. But yeah, I think learning mid and late game will genuinely really not be difficult at all, I think it's like the early game. The mid game is basically like what I was doing before, but like easier, pretty much. Like, um. No Sam Allen to speak of in the mid game, for example. You don't do like most of the stuff in Dream initially. Which just makes it go from, like, fucking devastating run killer to just, like, getting out of the nearly every time. Like... I don't think it'll be very hard. I don't think late game will be that hard either. Because again, it's either just less stuff than what I was already doing, or... Anything that is different isn't like so drastically different that I can't adapt. Dutchman's skip is gone, and in its place is like Goo Cage clip, which people find easy, so I don't think that'll really be an issue. Like... Yeah. load kids, which I don't think will- I don't think that'll take that long to adjust to. And then that's like the hardest stuff, I think, like in terms of like having to learn new- like new things, I think that's as difficult as it gets. Although, I- I did see like people do like a weird thing for uh, kelp, where they like... You like, do an- an L press on like the spatula, and then you can like control SpongeBob's movement. And then you want to get him to go in the fucking... 
Yeah, and then and then you want to. I don't even. I don't even remember. Like you get a cruise boost, and then and then you press L so that you can like control SpongeBob so that he doesn't drown or what? No, is was it? Yeah, something like that. What's up, Latte? Thank you for the good fucking luck, bro. As you can see from me, you know, not being in a run right now. Not treating me too good. I quickly got a run to, like, Nabla Man, though. Even if it wasn't good. Because I got, like, a terrible 3k. And a mid BBBH. Setting up your camera to do it loses nothing, so there's no reason not to go for it. Okay, cool. I've never gotten an L control before, and I don't know what the visual cue is. I just press L closer, and I just hope it didn't work. It works. Um, hello, Wilcon. Luck to you too, good sir. Also, Sky, I think I will probably buffer uh, Shoals VMS because, like, I just... I... Yeah. How the fuck? Like, they literally have different, vi like, visuals. Like, they, they take different amounts of time to load. Like, how the fuck are you supposed to do that? Them both, like, in a run. Like, that's so bullshit, bro. So I'm probably just gonna buffer uh, the second one. Yeah, exactly, Sky. Yeah, because I'm using a wireless controller, I... Sometimes it reconnects quickly, and sometimes it takes an extra, like, fucking two seconds for no reason. I don't know, it's, it, like, the, the full process is, like... Because, because the route I'm doing is obviously, like, it's very efficient, but it's also, like... Not that fast. I'm already kind of at a disadvantage anyway, so should I make the early game reset hell? I'm not sure. You forgot your umbrella twice in the span of an hour. I don't think I've like ever used an umbrella in my life. I don't know why I just haven't. Hey Kid was a good meme back in the day. The uh, Chocolate Creek has never been good though, TBH. It's like crazy how much I struggle with the early... Even just, like, the beginning of this category, because no cheese is, like, the same difficulty, basically. Like, 1% harder because of the cheat codes, but nothing, like, notable. Depression is easier, so it's- and I get to sandwich driving more often, so you would have just thought I would be getting out of sandwich driving pretty consistently, but I don't. Oh, yeah. It, it it I was really surprised by like how much faster like text boxes load. You can hear it in the music. You can hear like when you're when you're just walking to somewhere or like you know a robot sees you or whatever. You can hear it in the music that you're getting to these places faster than before. It's like really it's really strange. Text boxes are kind of weird in battle because, like, you can see them for a tiny bit before it actually lets you skip them. In movie, you can skip them before they even appear. Uh, 
Oh, does it really? That's actually good info to know in case I want to run, like, no CB hundo, whatever the fuck. I was wondering about that. Also, fuck Sea Needle, by the way. I fucking hate Sea Needle. It's, like, amazing how not hard it is, and yet you still, like, reset there, like, multiple times in a row. It's, like, insane. Because you just go, like, a little too far to the left, a little too far to the right, or, like, you accidentally, like, scrape by some tiggies when diving, and it just fucks the whole thing up so a lot of the time. Or, like, the Chuck hits you, the Tata robot hits you, like, just things like that, man. It's, like, it's so hard and not hard at the same time. It's amazing that it was ever fast, because, like, it you also have to spend a lot of time getting the shinies for it. And yet it still, like, somehow was, like, fast. Yeah, I, like, I don't really know, like, how to pace myself with, like, the music anymore, because obviously shit's different for me now, but I'll get used to it. Again, it's basically just the VMSs that are giving me an issue right now. Because, like, well, like like I said, I, uh, took, I took your, uh, 46 early game, and you had, like, a 1031, I, th I think, something like that. And I did one run, and I got a 15, and most of it was VMS. And I did another one last night, and I got a 1245, which is obviously still really slow. I just need to fucking... I need a buff of Shoals VMS, it's just like, it's, I'm just gonna have to. But even then, SDJ and the first VMS will still cause me issues. But while I still have time, while Operation Kill Movie is still, like, on, on the way, you know, it's still in progress. You know, might as well, like, iron out my consistency with the early game now. Because early and uh, mid and late game will not- will comparatively be much easier to learn, so I'm focusing mostly on the early game. I don't think uh, Squidward is from the United Kingdom. I don't even know what you're referring to, Orion. Um, I, but yeah, no, I, I do agree. The Sea Needle is just BS. I guess part of why it's so frustrating is because like it's so long as well. Like, cause after you get out of it, like you're pretty safe for like a, at least a few minutes. Also, um, one thing, um, that I kind of noticed is that, like, well, okay, so, so, so one thing that happened was that I learned, um, obviously I had to learn, like, the new Squid's House climb to avoid crabs, and, um, like, I just assumed that Shift's one would be harder, because, well, yeah, I mean, pretty obvious why I thought that. So I, I copy rubbers, because it was different. And then I couldn't get it, like, ever. And it was really hard. And I complained about it to Sky, and Sky was like, oh yeah, that one's really hard. I'm like, why the fuck does rubber do it then? I just I just assumed that, like, he he wouldn't be doing, like... I mean, it was real. Like, I hated it. But now that I'm doing, like, the one that everybody else does, it's actually not hard at all. And I, I like it more than the really old Squid's House climb. 
Like, the number of times you jump up on that nose and you just slip down and just get triggered and reset. Like... But, like, the new one, I don't seem to slip down when I jump on the nose. So it's actually it's pretty nice. Actually, Orion. I mean, I I've seen him do fucking fodder boost, and, I and when I saw that, I was like, "Dude, what the fuck? Like, who would like? Why? Why would you? Do who would? Who would just decide to do that?" I mean, it's impressive. But I'm just like, bruh. Sometimes you just gotta like throw in the towel with the idea of like sometimes. I was also that was close to a two eleven. I still have yet to get 211, but I'm... Well, I know it's possible. I know 211 is possible. Just, uh, can't quite do it. It is a good trick. I, I found that trick. That did just learn. Well, th there's been... There's been like, several, like, out-of-bounds methods discovered, but I discovered that one, and that one's, like, the fastest for Xbox. Dude, I nearly ledge-grabbed. I'm kind of surprised I didn't. One thing that I always fear in this level, well, just like now I'm in NS City, I float and block is, uh, and BBBH is uh, getting a bunch of ledge grabs because, in theory, you want to be cartwheeling with Patrick for as long as possible. So you want to be on the ground for as long as possible, which means that you want to make your jumps as short as possible so you can land on the ground as fast as possible so you can cartwheel for the longest duration possible. But because of that, like, every single time you do one of these stupid jumps, you risk a ledge grab, like, every single time. I hope that worked. I guess that makes sense. I've, I mean, well, yeah, obviously, like, I, I've never gone a super long time without playing this game, so, very used to it by now. Uh, I guess you can send it in the server, because then, like, because then more people can see it. Speaking of uh, videos, I still need to find uh, the Patrick Sock thing that we talked about a while ago. I think I've just accepted at this point that I'm not going to look for it for a while. You know when you randomly, out of nowhere, get the urge to, like, clean your room or whatever, you know? It's kind of like that. I'm just waiting to until I get the urge to, like, find the video. I'm sure I still have it somewhere. Up 
the only way I don't is if I decided to, like, trade uh, socks without actually, like, recording it. But I, I try to record, like, everything because it, it was meant for, like, a huge video. So I, I can't imagine I would have done that, surely. All right, cool. Wow! Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy! My heroes! Hit me with the water ball! Hit me, hit me, hit me! Why the fuck can't I use PCSX2 for my speed run? Why is Dolphin the only one allowed? This is so bullshit! My run should be accepted! Is that the TV repairman? Uh, no, I can't... I don't know if you hear that or not. I can't say I've seen that one before. Why is this said, like, so fucking aggressively? Like, why does it matter if you can't use PCSX2? You could literally just use fucking Dolphin, bro. Like, what are you bitching about? You have to... Also, PCSX2 kind of fucking sucks. Why would you not want to... Why would you not want to use Dolphin? I don't understand people. Oh no. Uh... Is this one of those days where the trick just won't work for the entire stream? Because that might actually happen. But I mean, it was working in practice, so My that... Name is J -J -J -K so that, that would, you know, that would imply then that... This was gonna work. Reese, thank you very much for the Prime subscription. Um, I appreciate that, and welcome to the Purple Foundation Nation. Uh, also, yeah, no, no worries, uh, take care and stuff. And thank you for the sub. I think I've had two subs today, so I think now the thing goes up to 28. I say this kind of frequently, but I've kind of decided that I want to, like, actually do sub-goals more often, um, instead of, like, once every month or something, like, I, you know, on average, um, because, again, like, Operation Kill Movie is a go, but if I, if I do more sub-goals now and play more hacks, I can delay killing the game. Which is what I want. I want to delay it as much as I can without without just, like, not streaming or something stupid like that. That being said, my Xbox controller is not plugged in. I cannot play a hack today. And also, th there was a hack called, uh... Uh... Get the crown, save the town, and miss the crabs. But it, I and I made an ISO for it, but it, it got an update like a couple days ago, so now I gotta download it again. So I, I wouldn't even want to play that today anyway, because I'm not playing like the most up to date version. Also, hello Zoe, thank you for the good luck. How has your day been?
you're so comfy and cozy. I, I feel like you don't usually say the word bro, so I think it's just funny that you, you started it with bro. But yes, that is good to hear, of course. Very true. Oh yeah, so for this Saturday, I was thinking of doing uh, Cole, Route, No Major Glitches. Cole, Route, and Strats, trying to copy them as close as I can. Which I wouldn't be able to uh, play on an actual Wii. I'd have to play on Dolphin, but yeah, I, I can, you know, with an Xbox controller at that. But that is something that I can do this Saturday, because I think it'd be, like, quick to do. I meant to do it a while ago, but I didn't want to because I tried to get... Basically, I couldn't use Nintendon't because it loads cutscenes too fast, so I had to, like, use disc. So I put in my PAL disc and I used a Gecko code to force NTSC because my Wii can read NTSC games. So I forced it to NTSC and it didn't work. So, and I'm not buying an NTSC disc, that would cost more than the amount of sub money I, I got for even having it as a sub goal in the first place. So, yeah, um, I had to... I, I just gave up for a while, and I, I wanted to I wanted to use... Um, I wanted to use, like, a GameCube controller as well. But I don't want to buy, like, a GameCube controller adapter, because, that because again, then I'm making, like, no money. So it just, it's just, you know. Um, it's hard to say. Because... Watt Soup was doing runs, and some other guy, he, he used to do Skype calls with this guy, and he used to do runs, but we don't know what it, who he was. Or if he ever got any records or whatever. And I, I saw a, I saw a uh I, I flicked through one of Watsoup's runs before, and he said like, oh, you guys have have found uh a bunch of strats or whatever, and all I found is Watsoup skip. Like, and who is you guys in this because he was talking to one person in the Skype call, so like, I don't know. And, at the same time, Cole... No, I didn't know who Watsup was, I don't think. Cole, um... Was also doing movie runs. And I don't think, initially, he was aware of Watsup's existence, and I don't think Watsup was aware of his existence. So it's really hard to figure out who the first... Runner was. The call was like Colonel Watsu, but definitely like some of the first. Chris came like a year later or something. So yeah, the, the game has an uncertain uh, history to it, I guess, because like we just we don't know things. We thought that hell for a long time in this community, we thought that Watsup was like the first one getting these records and stuff. It, it only got found a couple years ago that that cult, that Watsup, like we thought that Watsup had the first world records with like two fifty something, and then like two thirty something. No, no, it was Call. And, and we didn't even know until a couple years ago. He like his first run was like a two eleven, I think. It was something like that. Yeah, it, yeah. You know, 
create hard to uh, figure that stuff out, but I think it makes it kind of more interesting. Watsoup is still around, but he's not like a quick res uh, responder. He Watsoup did have one world record. Um, Cole had them, and then Watsoup got one, and then Cole beat him uh, quickly, and then that was it, I think. And and that wasn't the only person who broke a Cole streak, um, because Kyoku also. Okay, so th this was another thing as well. We didn't know that Kyoku's world record was world record either. Because runners had a different mentality back then. So basically, Kyoku did do did get his run before Cole could beat it. However, because he couldn't upload it to YouTube because his internet went out, when he was able to upload it, he saw it as like, oh, it was never world record because I could never prove it type of thing. Like, Cole beat me to it type of thing. And because, you know, we weren't aware of that, that it was actually world record, then we just... But he didn't count it as that because he wasn't able to upload it. We, did, we, didn't, know, we didn't know until like three, three years ago, maybe. So, yeah, now we know. Now we know. So it was Cole, then Watsup got one, then it was Cole, then Kyoku got one, then it was Cole, and then Chris and Remos traded. And then eventually Chris broke through and then had a streak, and then I beat him, and then I've had a since. That's like the whole history that we that we are aware of. I might contact Watsup at some point though and just ask him like who the people he would he was talking to were and if they had any like any records or whatever. Also, a, re a really funny thing, by the way, is that in one of in one of Watsup's like super old like two hour runs, there's one part where he says that he thinks like the route is as good as it can get, which is really funny because he w they weren't even doing Plank SpongeBob and they were doing other really weird things like. Not only were they doing BBBH combat, they were doing it in, in early game when you, they didn't have, like, upgrades to do it quickly. And they were, like, upgrading health rather than upgrading, like, other important moves. So, like, boss fights like Dennis took forever. It was really funny. And also, lots of loads were just wasted for backtracking because they didn't know how to efficiently backtrack. I just, I, which I just think it's, like, pretty funny. And some Cole records were missing for a bit, but because some of his records were only like as uh, were only like Twitch highlights, and never submitted to SRC, so like we had to go and he go ahead and do that. I had to like flick through all of it, all of his highlights, and there are a couple times that he got that don't exist anymore. So yeah. Oh yeah, it, it took until Chris and Remos trading records, by the way, until there were finally records on Xbox. Whee! Yeah, nah, same. I don't give a fuck about whales, bro. Uh, 
Oh yeah, I mean that's kind of cool. I wouldn't be able to put up with students, especially if it were a high school. I feel like being a teacher would only not suck if you're doing, like, college or something. A college teacher, because then it's, like, way more chill. And a lot of the work gets, like, pinned on the students, so it's, like... Like, like the the, the teachers kind of get to have more of a laid-back attitude. if Because they, they don't have to show up to classes, it's up to them. Like, you don't have to care if they don't show up, really, you know, like that, like that kind of thing. And you don't have to, like, scold some kid because they didn't... I mean, this is more of a UK school thing, but you don't have to scold a kid because they, f they forgot their fucking tie or some shit. Because, like, in college, it's just, like, you don't wear any, uh, uniform. I hope that worked. Okay, good. Battle also has, like, a very... Battle has a longer history and a more detailed and accurate history. And, um, its routing is even more interesting because there's more spatulas and, and less, like, restrictions in general for, like, spatula requirements. And then, obviously, the discovery of cruise boosting, obviously, like, that changed everything, you know? Because then, instead of doing, like, every level practically one by one as you went along, now the idea was to, like, do the fastest 40 things. Like, to preserve, like, the longest stuff until, like, game so you can do it, like, with the speed increase. Uh... Didn't you say something yesterday about not being able to afford, like, an SSD for $40? I found one that is not different. You said... Like, you said, I can't, is what you said. And if you can't, then it's because you don't have the money for it. Okie dokie, sir. Add some food earlier, as you can imagine. I feel like with this game, it's it's more of like a like a weird vibe thing, where it's like people with peop like people either get it or they don't. You know, there's a lot of games and shows like that, but I I feel like as a speed game, this is one of those ones where it just it just either clicks with you or it doesn't. You know. Like, not your cup of tea kind of thing, I guess. You know, like... Yeah. Fry... Fry bread and beans. Beans... What the fuck? Thanks. 
That's the plan. Well, yeah, it's really hard to tell, like, what your opinions of something would be if you d never experienced it as a kid. The, the thing that I think about, the obviously this game, but, but also the actual Spongebob movie, I don't know if I view it as positively. I definitely think that I would like it, but I don't know if I'd like it, like, as much. You know, it's got good jokes. It, it, it still looks pretty good to this day. It's got some fucking kick-ass music in it. Really, like, interesting plot. And, and it's it was, like, a really good way to, like, end the show at the time. So I'd like to think that I'd still like it. Yeah, Zoe, that's... When I found out what speedrunning was, I would just type in all the games I played when I was... Because I found out when I was, like, 12 or something, so I just I just looked up, like, NN Eddie Misadventures Speedrun World Record, Mario Kart Wii Speedrun World Record, the SpongeBob SquarePants movie Speedrun World Record, you know, and it eventually got to this. And I was like, oh my god, um, cold, who's, whoever this guy is, he has world record, oh my god, I'm gonna watch his run. Oh my god, how did he do, how did he do the Chocolate Creek task early? Oh my goodness gracious. How did he do it? It's really funny, like, I remember just being that dumb little kid who, like, could never imagine, like, what it could possibly, like, how people did these tricks or whatever, I couldn't imagine it back then. I was- I was that dumb kid, you know, the type of dumb kid that just, like, you know, they kind of are interested in speedrunning, but they never actually do it themselves, and then they grow up and they stop caring about it. I was, like, that kind of kid, except I just never lost my attachment to it. So I was just, like, a stupid little kid, except I've had a lot of time to mature. But- but do not get it twisted, I was very cringe. I'm glad I only found out what Discord was in 2016. Rather, because I think it existed since 2015. <laughs> Thank you for the good luck. And welcome back. I don't think that's gonna work. Never mind. Bro, I forgot about TeamSpeak. I never used it. I only knew it existed because I used to watch Syndicate. You know, the, um... I mean, you guys know who Syndicate is, probably. And he was always just like, oh yeah, you know, talk to these people on TeamSpeak or whatever. And I was just like, what the hell is TeamSpeak? Is I had Skype, but I only had like a few friends on there. Either I spend forty dollars on an SSD, don't need right now. By that logic, you don't need anything in your life, except for like food. Forty. Okay, I I just because the thing is like like with buying an SSD, like it's future proofing. That's the thing. I went. I just went from Skype to Discord. Because I was only using Skype for, like, three people. And then I stopped talking to one of them, so now I was only using Skype for two people. And then somebody was like... Somebody was like, oh, uh... One of them was like, oh, yeah, I mean, have you used a Discord? It's, like, the new thing. Like, you should you should be on Discord. And I was like, okay, fuck it, I'll, I'll do Discord. And Discord I did do. Hello, Fireball. What is up? Yeah, no. I, again, I, I didn't. I didn't use Teamspeak. Very, very. Like I was. I wanted to, but I 
nobody, I didn't know anybody who wanted to use it. Like, it was just, you know, Skype and then Discord. Looking back at it, it was actually pretty nice of my friends to... Because they only got Skype to talk to me because it didn't have Facebook. It was actually kind of nice of them to do that. Looking back at it. Any skips? Not anything, like, big. They used to be, like, a small skip, but we... we uh, but the routing changed in 2019 to make it faster and easier so the skip doesn't exist anymore. You, you, there's never an instance where you could use it. One thing that really annoyed me with Steam, uh, not Steam, why did I say Steam, with Skype, is that after Microsoft got a hold of it, they made it so that messages delete after a year. So when I finally found my old Skype accounts, all the messages were gone. And it's for privacy reasons. It's like, if those messages stay there for an entire year, that's not privacy then. If it's if they're there for, if it was there for like a, a month, then that's different. But it's literally there for an entire year. They clearly just want to save like on like money on the server side, despite it being literally Microsoft. I hate that company so much, dude. Oh fuck! I might have no. Let's go. I forgot to mention that that is a skip in this level, however, you can't do it in the, fir the first time you're in the level. So that's why I, I said earlier that the level doesn't have any skips. I actually mentioned Snapchat earlier, but I'll quickly say again, I, I downloaded it in 2017 to Riz someone at the Rizagil. Um, but now I, obviously, I don't, I don't, I never use it for anything. I thought about uninstalling it, but, eh. Um, how are the runs? This is the only run to get past now, though, man. It's also the only good run I've had, so. I mean, if this run finishes and it PBs, and I guess the runs are going good. If it doesn't finish, then they're going okay, I guess, overall. Because it's only been two hours, so. This, this category is, like, stupidly reset heavy. Discord, WhatsApp, Facebook, Messenger, basically only for my tattoo artist. Twitter DMs for artists. I use, uh, just Discord. Um. Messenger for my nan or whatever. <laughs> um. WhatsApp for my mum. And I'm not really counting Snapchat because I never really use it, and that's basically it. I forgot about Twitter, but I, I don't even DM people on Twitter. My DMs are open, but I, I don't talk to people on Twitter. I mean, there's a DM limit now anyway, so it's like you're not going to get much mileage. I know people made a lot of, like... Uh, made accounts for, like, a lot of Twitter substitute accounts when people thought that the site was gonna get nuked. 
But I don't think anybody, like, still uses them. I, I didn't even make an account on any of those, like, kind of sites. Yeah, yeah, that, that makes sense, Darkseid. Alright, come on. Nice. Maybe this could, like, finally be <laughs> the run right that can finally stop playing the damn category. There's still quite a bit left to go, but the hardest part of the run is over. Well... Plank is one of the hardest splits in the run, but it's, like, the only hard split for the rest of the run, so it's, like... Yeah. I, I would say that, um, the... Both the early and mid-game are probably harder than the late game in this category. But because Plank is so difficult to play close to the golden, like, yeah. I haven't gotten one yet. Maybe send another one. I'm not sure. Or request another one, rather. Dude, 104? That's so fast. That's, like, abs that's actually insanely fast. This run is actually pretty good. Threads not being in the EU. I actually didn't know that. See, I always think that dark side, but after after beating, after binging and beating uh, Pokemon Soul Silver, I then pretty much immediately after went to Pokemon Platinum, and while playing Pokemon Platinum, I've also been mostly playing Pokemon XD, and I've thought about playing the XD, the better XD mod right after XD. I don't know if I actually will, but I've been thinking about it, and I'm playing Platinum on the side. I play Platinum whenever I only have like an hour or something to play. Because XD is really slow, like, takes and I'm grinding right now. So, uh, yeah. Because I'm not sure if this is the final battle in the game or not, but, uh... This motherfucker has six Shadow Pokémon, and they're all higher level than mine, so... And, uh, three of them are legendaries. S hmm, so I'm not really, you know... If I could even just be the same level as them, that would be nice. EU law privacy shirt. I feel like you're... I don't know, I feel like financially that could be, like, be shooting yourself, though, in the long term. I'm a fast forward addict as well whenever I get my hands on it. I wanted to play like a hard mode like Black and White 2 hack. And I downloaded it. I downloaded the DS emulator. I wanted I wanted speed up because like the gyms are so hard. I figured I'd have to grind for every gym. Like cuz I've seen them. Like they look really hard. And honestly, right? I had I played for like 20 minutes, and I had no enjoyment whatsoever, and I think it was because I was using an emulator. I- I was like- I- I felt like how I feel when I play, like, fucking Plankton's Robotic Revenge. Like, I- I had, like, no joy in my soul. I just- I- I had no- I- it- like, the last thing I wanted to do was play the game. 
And I'm pretty sure it's because I was using speed up and was using an emulator. Because I absolutely love Black and White 2. I think they're the best games in the franchise. Oh yeah, Fireball. But I think when they realize that, it'll probably be too late. So tough. Oh, fuck. So Hopefully that's fine. <sighs> that's... I don't know. Okay, thank god. Dude, I only have enough by 18. I do want to answer your question, um, because it's interesting. I'm kind of on, like, a really good run right now. Can it please wait a little bit? Because I've been stuck playing this category for a long time, and I, it's, I really, really want to stop playing it. And this might finally be the run where I can stop playing it. So I feel like I gotta focus. Or else I might have to grind this for weeks again. I don't know what this well, I, well th this part isn't particularly hard. The, the way that I got into streaming is that, well, I, I just randomly found Twitch. So I knew what streaming was since I was like 12. But I just wanted to stream because I was already in the Spongebob speedrunning community, and I wanted to just, like, if I was already going to speedrun a Spongebob game anyway, then it's like, why wouldn't I stream it? However, I did have insecurities about my own gameplay, so I didn't let myself play a uh, stream until my gameplay was, like, good. But I was getting to the point of being a potential world record contender in this game, so I just, I wanted people to see that I did it, you know? Like, that was, so when I got good enough at the game, I just decided to finally stream it. Fuck, dude. No. Dude, that frogfish sucked. Is it? Yeah, no, it was actually really bad. Alright, well, 40 is pretty much out of the window. Dude, that's like the only bad split in the entire run so far. Dude, I keep I keep almost warping to knucklehead on accident. And where I expect to see myself, I don't know where I expect to, but I want to still be playing this game in theory, or like doing some sort of speedrunning thing like full time, that would, that would be ideal. And if not, then I want to make like huge, I want to be like a big YouTuber, like making like huge essay style videos on like, you know, like video game analysis stuff, that kind of thing. 
old TV shows. I have, like, a couple... Pl I'd either like to do speedrunning full-time, or I'd like to be, like, a full-time YouTuber doing, like, big analysis videos. I'd like either or would be good. I was a little slow. Hopefully I can still make the cycle. Yeah, I'll make it yeah, easy. It is an extensions category. Any category that uses, like, the in-game cheat codes is on extensions by default. Dude, I felt like I got it, but I didn't want to risk it. Yeah, that goes a 40 then, unfortunately. But if the rest of- if the rest of this is, like, really good... Then I'll still call this run good enough to like stop playing uh, the category. Uh, that token I just did is is a joke token called called like Ultimate Combat Arena, which just has one jellyfish. Let's have Koopa. Um, as for me, I am on run of my life right now. Oh my god, I, I can actually still get a 40. <laughs> Already made a mistake, but I just gotta... Fuck off, man. Come on. Why did this fucking flame go on for fucking ten years, dude? Why the fuck did it just- like, I, I swear to god it went for longer than normal. What the hell? Just fucking threw away everything. I'm gonna be playing this category for another fucking three weeks. Can't wait. Playing like the worst category on the leaderboards for another three weeks. Let's go, man. Because of a mistake that I like never make, by the way. That that, that this boss is in like every category, done in the exact same way every time. Like. Finally got the one in a million to, like, actually get through, like, the statistical nightmare of this category. And then I just make a mistake that I never make ever. Awesome. Now it's gonna take three more weeks to get back here on a, on a similar run. Can't wait.
and I don't even know how much I lost, so I don't, I don't even know if this can actually PB or not. Well, bold records, but yeah. Yeah, it's still a world record. I probably split early. That's probably a 22. As you can imagine, not good enough. I gotta keep playing. Thank you for the GG's though, of course. I do appreciate that. It's just, uh, yeah, I fucking hate this category, man. Dude, I made a mistake. I, like, never make ever. That's so annoying. Such a rookie mistake. I... I I've... I made, I made, like, no mistakes in the entire run, practically. And then, until, uh... Like, b basically, the point I'm trying to make is that going into, uh, going into Frogfish, I don't think I'll ever be, like, on a pace this good again, because no mistakes, like, no mistakes, I missed a couple one-frame jumps, and I lost, like, six seconds here, but that, you know, you can't exactly expect that, you know what I mean? No mistakes, no mistakes, no mistakes. Amazing. The, these two in particular are so hard to do optimally, and I nearly golded both of them. Golded this. This was really good. Like, this was good. Like, this was terrible, but then, like, this was good. So, basically... Basically... I'm, like, never gonna be on a run that good again, so I, I ba I'm basically- I'm gonna be in a situation where I have to, like, settle for worse, just so I can obtain the Neptune time save. It's just gonna be one of those runs. <sighs> but, once again, not good enough. So, we gotta keep going. And I would like to hope it doesn't take three weeks this, this time. Maybe I maybe I can f I don't even know what time I'm going for. I just know that that time right then, uh, right there, was just not good enough. Like in the entire run, I made like three mistakes until I got hit in Neptune. Like it, at that point, you're basically playing with statistics. That's the thing. So it's like I got to play with statistics again. So I don't feel like it's gonna happen anytime soon. I appreciate your compliment, by the way. Um, just very, very annoyed by what happened. I mean, I finally have an ETU run where I played within a minute of some of the best, but I already did that no pole storage. I run this 20 minutes longer, 19 minutes longer, actually. 
manager to, well, not manager. The shorter the category is, the easier it is to play close to the sum of the best. Which is why I feel like this isn't good enough. I'm not expecting a run with zero mistakes. I just don't think that a 41-21 is good enough. I think I want like 41, like sub like 41-15 or something. I think that would be good. Also, I unfortunately have, like, shitty splits to run against now. Because, like, I don't have a latest run to run against anymore. Like, this is the latest run that I finished, and it's a world record, so... These splits are horrible to go up against. They're really, really awful. Because it's basically, like, no time save for, like, half an hour. What I might do, if I can get another run to, like, Gask, I might just finish that run no matter what, just so I have different splits to run against. Because I don't want to run against these. That run was so good, man. I just gotta keep going. I guess my expectations were just like, I don't know, like... Because, again, I, I didn't want to just kill every run on main. I, I wanted to kill every run on extensions as well. But I wasn't going to go as hard in, this, in extensions because they don't matter as much. But, like, I very quickly got a good enough run in early powers all extras. It took two... It took less than two streams. It took, like, ten hours total. But, like, this... I don't even know how many ETU streams I've done, but if I had to guess, it's probably, like, the 14th or 15th one. And I just, I don't know if I see an end in sight. Sandwich driving. I I think the part that's like so toxic about well, obviously, I mean everything about that trick is toxic, but I think the one thing in particular that is uh, toxic about it is um how how late into the level it is. Imagine if it was just like at the very beginning. I've like nearly never had them. But because I don't like him. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The I I mean I've heard a lot of people say that they're like really good, but obviously I mean. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Anybody could find any food really good because they'll just. Like, I mean, there's just so many foods that even if something sucks, like, there's, your taste buds are gonna have to like something. And then, you know, people obviously question, like, the beans on toast thing. And to that, I, I don't really know how to respond because I don't like beans. 
so I don't eat it. I don't eat beans on toast. A manager is always prepared. But to be fair, I'm pretty sure American beans and American bread are different. So I, I don't I don't think they it tastes like what they think it tastes like. Why does Discord have an update? I swear I had an update, like, yesterday. Oh. Now I just updated anyway. Is it just me, or are, like, 95% of Discord updates, like, you can't even tell what they did? SpongeBob. I think- I think Americans just, like, like making fun of other- like, other countries and shit. I mean... Obviously, the main target these days is France, but it was, like the the main target originally was like the UK. I, I've seen Americans like completely un unprompted, like unironically, bring up like knife crime as if it's. As, as if it's any better to have, like, long-range deadly weapons compared to short-range deadly weapons. Like, what do you, what do you think we would be using if we had, like, access to, like, other weapons? Like, like, what, what like... <sighs> I saw a video before of, like, these two people circling around a car because one was trying to stab the other. And then they were like, um, if they had a gun, this would have gone very differently. And it's like, if the def if the person defending themselves had a gun, they'd have it because they are legally allowed to have the gun. Which means that the criminal trying to do criminal acts would also have a gun because they would be able to legally obtain one. So, no, you'd be in the exact same situation, because you'd literally be at a standstill again. Instead of being at a standstill with the knives, you'd be at a standstill with the fucking guns. I don't understand, like... Do you use your brain at all? I think fish and chips is the meal ever. Well, you know, I, I think Americans are cool, you know, you can get along very well with them and all that stuff. It's just like, I don't know why they in particular feel the need to, like, bully everyone else. Like, when they are a very flawed and corrupt first, uh, first world country. I just, like, I don't, I don't get it. And then, 
Obviously, you got, like, Americans and they're fat and they're stupid. I've seen people be like, M, you guys only have, like, three jokes about us, but then... That's because if we say anything else, then it has to involve guns and stuff, and then, and then, and then if we bring that up, then you're like, whoa, bro, we were just making a joke, you're going too far. So, you know, you get, you get criticized for making fun of them for the same, like, four things, but then when you try to, when you try to make fun of them for more things, then apparently it's going too far, but then obviously, then, then they, they still get to bring up the, all the knife crime and stuff, because that makes sense, that's really cool. I just don't get why that's always the response. L literally, that's always the response. Just like, I don't think people should have access to long-range deadly weapons. M, M, but what about the knife crimes? M, M, it's very clearly the same thing with the same magnitude. They're clearly just as bad as each other. So true. Because you can walk into a school and just like throw five billion knives at everybody with like incredible accuracy. I've had two low 212s today. The first one was actually the uh, the world record run. Hey, Wilcon. Um, I know uh, you... Didn't want to talk much about, like, your hack or whatever, but I was wondering if you'd be willing to share how much progress is actually being made, because I assume it's a 68 token hack, or, you know, just... Even, like, how many tokens you've done would be, like, cool to know. I don't know how big the levels are, so can I get, like, a token count? Oh, okay, there we go. 7-Eleven. Anyway, I don't know why I said 7 Dude, I don't know why. I want to go to a 7-Eleven. I, I don't know why. I, I don't really have a reason for it. I just, I just want to go to 7-Eleven. I, I just... I always get mad when I see America, like, portion sizes. Even if it's just not even to do with, like... Like, I saw a meme, and the meme started out with somebody grabbing, like, their drink from, like, some fast food restaurant, and the drink was absolutely fucking enormous, and we do not have sizes like that here. It was so massive. I, like... It, it was, it was, like... It was like two lodges here. Like, that's how big it was. It was so big. And I was like, bro, what the hell? I saw that like today. Run died. Because my, because my run is too optimized now, I can't even... Like, originally, there were like a couple two-frame tokens that you could miss because... They were, like, right next to you if you had to re-warp, so you only lost, like, 10 seconds. I can't afford to do it that anymore. 
That was one of the fastest ones to miss in the game, and I just I got a reset still. I think the fastest one to miss is, is throwing fruit. Except not really, because then you have like terrible menuing until I like, have to get back the Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Wawa, I feel the Wawa. Have you heard of, uh, Tim Hortons? Because apparently that's only in some parts of America. Well, I assume you can just ask for, like, no ice. Like, our drinks also have ice in them, but... <laughs> that makes them even smaller. <laughs> Our lodges, after adding ice, is probably the equivalent of, like, a can of soda. Like, if you get, like, a large drink from, like, McDonald's and then add, like, ice. We have a restaurant here, a proper restaurant called, uh, Harvester. And, um, if you have a drink, it has to be infinite refill. But because I always drink, like, two or three of them, like, it's always worth my money anyway, because there are books, but, you know, it's, like, three pounds something. Um, y they have, like, an ice machine. You can add as much ice as you want, and because I'm I'm gonna drink as much as I want, then it doesn't matter. And there's also some fast food restaurants as well. We have a Popeye's. And it's infinite refill, and you can just add ice if you want. It's cool. I'm a sucker, so I always, like, get get lodges of everything because it's like, oh, it's only 15p more than the medium. You basically have to get the lodge, you know. My goal wasn't just world record because I already had world record in the category. Like, the, I was very disappointed in the time, so I'm, like... What I plan to do with this game is to get really good times in every category so that there's... I can't reasonably improve any of them and thus I have to quit the game. Like, that's that's the idea. And this run is certainly beatable, so I gotta keep going. Because this run... my run was, like, really frustrating. Also, I mean, I answered, like, parts of the question, like, while I was doing the other run. I think the only thing I didn't answer was, like, introducing myself, be because I don't know, like, how to introduce myself, but... I mean, I guess the way that I would is that I've been playing this game on and off since 2016. And I've been the world record holder since for, mo uh, for the main category since 2018, and I've held that position in most categories since, like, 2020. Um... And I was really into the idea of speedrunning this game even all the way back in like 2012 or 2013. But I didn't I didn't do it until 2016. And the game has changed a lot in that time, but I still just keep I just plan to keep playing it for as long as there are times to acquire. Also, I am 22 and I am from the UK. If there are other questions you want to ask, though, you can ask me, I'll answer them. I would, you know, I never would ask for, I would always ask for no ice. However, um, after COVID, I became very, uh... I, I, I can't think of the words, but I got, like social anxiety or whatever and i don't like ordering at the at, at the till i have to like use the self-service machines and because of that and because like there's no like no ice option like i always have to get ice
By the way, side note, KFC's Pepsi Max tastes amazing. It's so syrupy. It tastes amazing. Hello, Limba. What's up? You're so funny, bro. Dude, now I want to eat, like, McDonald's or KFC or whatever. But like I said before, I only go to KFC when my brother's around. Our KFC is done at Mountain Dew. So that's pretty interesting. I honestly can't even remember what options there are. I just always get Pepsi Max. Yeah, so I saw people because from from McDonald's I always got Fanta, but people were talking about the Sprite. Like me, me people were making memes of the Sprite, so I was like, all right, I guess I will. Uh, I guess I'll have the. I guess I'll have some Sprite from McDonald's, and it's actually not. It's not bad. I mean, it's not amazing or anything. I'd still rather have Fanta, but it was actually like it kind of hits the spot, kind of. Jam usually gets a uh, Coke. And I get Fanta, but... Yeah. Fanta does taste better than Tango. It's just a bit sweeter, just a bit more sugar to it, you know? Also, honey and peach. That's weird. Dude, one Mountain Dew I want to get my hands on again one day. I don't know if it, I don't know if it was limited edition or not, but uh, Pitch Black. It would uh, I think it was called Amazing. I had it while doing uh, Second Strike, and it was so good. That is some cabbage Limba. I can taste the difference, and I will tell you from my expert opinion, the Seven Up is better than Sprite. It's the same thing with Fanta and Tango. 7-Up is a bit sweeter and has more sugar in it, so it's just slightly better Sprite. However, just like Tango, if it is the only drink in- Like, if Fanta is not in the house, but Tango is, then of course I'll still drink it. Same with Sprite. I see. I feel like, at least for me, like, McDonald's and Burger King and KFC have all had, like, pretty consistent tasting drinks. But maybe I'm just stupid and can't tell the difference. All be a taste bad base take. Honestly, base take. Tell you what, though. Sparkling water sucks. But, I mean, if you're doing it to get off of, like, alcohol or whatever, then obviously that's still real. Like, that's, that's a very good thing to do.
If there wasn't so much pressure in life to, like, drink alcohol, I swear to God, like, nowhere near as many people would drink it. I don't even think, like, I don't even think half as many people would- I think it'd be less than half. Of all the current people, like, if they were never- If it was never a social thing, if it wasn't practically brainwashed into you from the- like, is every- you know... It's just an adult thing that adults do, you, you know, do it to socialize, go to the clubs, whatever. If none of that shit was the case, I swear to God, not even half the people would drink alcohol. Or at least wouldn't drink it as much. I'm just positive about that. How tap water tastes is gonna kind of depend on where you're getting it from, you know. But where I live, the water's kind of fresh, so it's. I do prefer, like, spring water, but it's not- it's honestly not a huge difference. My math teacher would just, like, drink, like, these two-liter bottles of sparkling water, not even flavored. I thought he was a man-man. I mean, he must have been a man-man. Because I've had a couple sips, it is... It is so bad, dude. It is so bad. I kind of miss drinking Summer Fruits flavored water, though. I used to drink... I, I got off of soda by drinking, uh... Flavored water instead, Summer Fruits. It actually tastes really good. I... Like, when it's cold and you've been dying to have it for ages and you finally start swigging it down, it actually tastes great. But I had to stop drinking it. Not only was it just better, you know, for my teeth if I just drank water instead. And not only would it save some money. But also, the sweeteners would make me want to piss all the time, which is disrupting my streams. So I'm just drinking water mostly because of my streams. Sparkling Ribena, nah, bro. Although, granted, I haven't had a Ribena in a hundred years, but I... Yeah, nah, that doesn't sound too good to me, personally. I don't even want to continue this, because I just... Yeah, nah, fuck it, I'm not continuing that. That shit loses, like, seven seconds. I can't afford for that anymore, I feel like. Have you heard a soda stream? I used to use that. How dare you, Wilcon? When I was younger, my parents didn't like to give me carbonated drinks very often because they were like, um, because it has like four atoms of sugar, that means like it's bad for you and like they make you hyper or whatever. I, I was never a hyper kid. I don't know what the fuck they were talking about. But they did let me use soda stream for school like have it take it to school because they did have like a fanta soda stream thingy and it did taste not look exactly like fanta but it was pretty close and it was probably healthier i mean maybe it wasn't but maybe it was i don't really get those like caffeine free sodas soda variants because they have, like, nearly no caffeine in them anyway, so I don't really see, like, what the point is. Hey. When I finally tried American Fanta, it was a caffeine-free one. I just got it, like, they have, like, no caffeine in them anyway, hardly. I, I, I didn't see the point. Also, American Fanta tastes like Lucasade. L literally tastes exactly like carbonated Lucasade. It, it does look like, yeah, it, lo it looks like, it does look like this. But yeah, no, seriously now, taste, 
exactly like Lucozade. And Lucozade, to me, tastes like worse Fanta. So honestly, the UK takes lots of L's, like a lot of them. Especially in, like, the soda department. All their sodas taste so much better. But, like, damn, dude. I'll be damned. UK Fanta actually clears American Fanta. There's actually a surprisingly big difference. And we do it with, like, a fifth of the amount of sugar. <laughs> I only have Lucasay when I'm ill, because of, like, tradition, I guess. It's, like, a cool thing to have when you're ill. Well, yeah, <laughs> not not exactly orange, but more, like, dark yellow. Like, you know when you're pissed, it's, like, dark yellow, like, goldy, almost. Lemon Fanta? I've had Lemon Fanta, but I actually don't like it with food, that's what- Basically, right? One thing I've learned, and- and I think everybody should listen to this, uh... It might not be objective fact, but like, a dentist told me it, so I'm kinda taking it at face value. Um... Basically, I was told that the best time to have a carbonated- If you're going to drink a carbonated drink, the healthiest time to have a carbonated drink is with meals. And the reason why is because it breaks down the food that's stuck in your teeth. Because obviously food stuck in your teeth can give you, like, you know, gum issues, uh, cavities. But if you're going to drink a cavity-inducing drink regardless, you might as well also flush away the fucking- the food. The stuck in there. And it makes sense, so it probably is true. Um, so, because of that, I don't ever have Lemon Fanta anymore. Because I don't like it with food. And, and again, if I'm going to have a carbonated drink, I always make sure to have it with food. Every single time. Every single time. Also, I only just remembered your message about uh, Prime Ice Pop. It's based off of an, an, an American uh, popsicle, so it's kind of funny that you compared to the Feb. I like Febs. They're good. I like Feb. I guess the sugars get stuck to your teeth and the bacteria likes to... Yeah, see, that's the thing, though. There's something called fermented carbs. And it's foods that dissolve into sugar while they're in your mouth. And bread and potato chips are two prime examples of that. So that if they're going to dissolve into sugar anyway, and you were going to drink the sugary drink on that day regardless, then you might as well use the sugary drink to flush away the other sugars before it's too late. And then you can just wash your mouth out with water or mouthwash or something. You know what's funny? Um, I don't know if you've had the pink prime, but to me, the pink prime tastes like, uh, ice pop, but, like, with a bit of, a little bit of strawberry in there, basically. I, th I to me, it just tastes like a slightly better ice pop. So, honestly, I think it beats ice pop, and I'm probably never gonna have an ice pop ever again. <laughs> because the pink will, will do me better. I hope that worked. I think it did. Red was the second one I had. The first one I ever had was blue. You should have seen the look on me, me and James' face. We went to, like, every Asda on the fucking planet. We couldn't find it. And then we decided to go to Spa just in case. You know, the final place we were looking. And holy shit. We went in there. And there it was. There was some fucking Prime. And it kind of sucks now. Like, I, it's good that it's everywhere now, but it also sucks because the adventure is over. 
me and Jam are just like, oh my god, we gotta check this as the, we gotta check that as the. Like, there's no hunt anymore. Yeah, I haven't had Grape Prime and I haven't had Lemon Prime, but I don't even think those. I don't even know if they exist in this country yet. And even when they do, they'll just be in fucking Tesco, like a billion of them in a basket. Like, I, I, there's no hunt anymore. It's not as cool. There's a. I mean, I don't know if you noticed, but there's no Prime on my desk. It's because it's not cool anymore. There's no point in flexing. And it was also taking up too much room. I couldn't play PC games because my elbow kept hitting the cans. Um, I can get these for two pound now at Morrison's. They used to be like four or five pounds. Yeah, in Spa they were like three quid, and now they're two quid. Well, one ninety nine, but you know. I have only ever had Gatorade once, and it was from like one of those Five Guys machines, and also it was a it was a zero variant, zero sugar. I didn't like it. it tastes it smelled really good, but it just didn't really taste of anything. However, I actually do own a Gatorade now. It's a blue one. I haven't had it yet, but I will drink it. I I literally have like forty fucking drinks I need to drink. But obviously, because I gotta be a bit cautious of my teeth, I have- I don't drink them fast. Uh, often, rather. Subway. They do Gatorade in Subway. I, ex I, I just expect the subway to be, like, a more healthy place, so I thought they would literally just do, like, juice, and then, like, water. And then, like, that was a- I just- that's- I don't know, I haven't never been to subway before, so I don't, I don't know. It wasn't good, fair enough. But I feel like if you get it from, like, the actual, like, bottle, then it might be better. That's why- that's what I'm hoping. I just want to try, like, an actual proper Gatorade at some point. But you know it wasn't- I, I drink whatever I'm given type of thing. You know it was bad, the one from Cardiff, when I fucking threw it away in the bin when it was almost full. Dude, that was such a low 212. Do you see that shit, bro? That had to be, like, at the highest, like, 212.1. Uh, that was so fast. I don't think I've ever made that menuing mistake in my life. Depending on, depending on, like, how syrupy it is, I genuinely prefer some drinks to be from, like, a fast food restaurant or whatever compared to in the can. Because in the can, it's, like, too carbonated, and it just, it's, like, the carbonation can be so strong sometimes. And the syrupy, you know. Again, the, the best Pepsi Maxes are definitely from Spoons and KFC. So good. From those two places. I do as well, but it's just too strong from some of the can like Fanta in particular, like the combination seems particularly strong to me. A strat I do when waiting for food, but they give you a can of Fanta, like in a chip shop or whatever. I'll predict when there's like five minutes or something until the food shows up, and then I'll open the can to kill some of the combination before the food actually gets you, but obviously not kill too much of it. That's kind of a gamble, though. Sometimes it takes forever, sometimes it's super fast. Yeah, no, you, you seem to like it stronger than me, then, yeah. Which is fair enough. 
What's up, Mr. Brightside? I think we did. It's really hard to remember. I can probably find... I have a... Hold on, I can probably check. Okay, I don't... I don't think so, actually. I don't know. Because I'm looking at my bottle and can collection list, and I, t I did control F mango, and it's not there. But I swear to god, we tried it, but I must have not added it to my collection afterwards. But I swear we, we tasted it. And I remember it tasting very bad. I swear I tasted it. I might be mixing, mixing it up with something else, but I feel like I'm not. Pumpkin spice. That sounds like white girl shirt. The only seasonal thing that I die for, like, I went to Tesco Cafe before, and they had, like, some, like, smoothie in the summer, and I can't remember what it was. It was, like, the greatest tasting thing of all time. Oh, also from Costa, I had, like, some smoothie thing before, and it was so amazing, but I can't remember what it was, because I've only had it once. I never have a reason to go to Costa, because there's never a Costa at a convenient place for me. If we go to a town and there's a Costa, chances are we've already been to fucking Burger King or McDonald's, wherever the fuck, and I've already had a drink. I gotta find out what drink it was, though, that I had, because it was so good. I've never had- I- it took me years to have a McDonald's milkshake, and I've never had a McDonald's, like, smoothie if they've ever had those, and... Um, I've said before, but growing up, I just assumed that I hated milkshakes, because my- my parents would make me a banana milkshake, and I fucking hated it. So I just assumed that all milkshakes were bad until, like, three or four years ago. Yeah, I realize that now. I've had Oreo milkshakes from, like, five guys and shit, and it tastes amazing. <laughs> Granted, it's, like, five quid, but holy fuck, is it good? You have to get Bananas have to be, like, a specific amount of, like, ripeness for me to, like... Basically, I, I'll, if my parents buy a bunch of bananas, I'll only eat, like, one, two at best. For a lot of times, it's zero or one. When I was a kid, I had, like, I opened a banana, even though it was, like, really dark green, and it was, like, the most weird textured thing ever. It was, like, it wasn't nice at all, like, because it was way too fucking green, but, yeah. Would you rather one million dollars or one movie time save? Depends on what it is. If it's Pog Champ Weenie out of bounds, then yeah, sure. Also, hello, iPie. What is up, Brev? I like bananas that are just like mostly yellow but have a bit of green on them. To me, that's like the only time I like them. And they only last like that for like a day. I've been trying to eat like apples and stuff uh, recent more uh, recently.
But the apples, some of the apples must not be in season or something, because some of them taste so mad. Also, I'm just going to say this now, green apples are bad. Dreaming about movie. I've had some dreams about, like, stream and stuff. Also, hello, Countess. Hope you're doing well today. Pink lady. Pink lady ones are good. Movie slammers be like, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, this category is cruel as hell now. I finally got the rubber the one frames, but I missed the token two frames, so I actually didn't save much at all in the end. Ouch. And I missed a thing I never miss. Let's go, boys. I don't even know if I can continue this. I just lost like 12 seconds. That's pretty terrible. I'm gonna try, but it's pretty much dead already unless I play like a god. I need to play uh, like it's so amazing for the rest of the run. Yeah, no, this category is one of the, the hottest because of just how much stuff you do back to back. I'm I'm risking like not jumping on top of it because I could potentially save a lot like that. I didn't get it. If if I got that, I would have saved like over a second. I just trying to make some of the time back because the run was like pretty much dead anyway. On the it's dead scale, it was like eight point five. Uh. 10 being, like, there is no theoretical way to bring this back at all. Welcome. Also, it's probably, uh, it's probably useless asking my chat who makes fun of me for watching anime, but does anybody have any anime recommendations because I want to... I want to watch more anime. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day in the life of a manager. You're so funny, iPie, bro. You're so funny, bro. You're so funny. You're so funny. I could give you a kiss on the lips. I've already watched a fat game Pokemon anime. Ratio. Damn, it's actually a pretty good no choose. I think that's the fastest one I've had today. I've already seen it. Already seen that shit, bro. It's not fucking based. I watched, I watched it as like a joke with somebody, dude. It's so fucked up, right? 
that the website that we watched it on had like its own disclaimer on the on the video like on the video file it had a text disclaimer that was like we believe that this should be interpreted as a piece of art because child content is bad and it's like, yeah, no fucking shit is bad. But, like, I'm in a situation now where I've already watched Baku no Pico. I gotta watch the- I gotta watch the other- Because there's, like, two other ones as well, so I had to watch those. Yeah, no, how- how anybody is, like, allowed to view it, I will never know. Because it- it, it is- yeah, I mean, it's it's not even like up to interpretation. It just is. That is what it is. That like that literally is what it is. <laughs> and I don't know why it's even like allowed to be uploaded to like anime sites. But it's like okay, well, it, it'll be funny. Like, I just want like, I, I, you know, it was 2019. I was like, all right, it'd be funny if I watch this. Me and my friend watched it, but like, I don't understand. Like, cause if it's on a website, then it's like. Then the website would get in trouble, not us, right? Like, surely? I don't know. Yeah, I pie. Um, I just thought it'd be funny. The PS2 D-pad kind of fucking sucks. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do rubber dub skip with it, honestly. I think I'm just gonna have to, like, not do it. Onto the PS2 D-pad. Your mum le gay. So I'd like a PS2 controller that's actually good, please. I, I don't really get people who, pay, who praise the PS2 controller. I really don't think it's good. Like, I'm not gonna tell you to kill yourself because you like the controller, but I just, I just don't get, like, how anybody could like it. The T-pad sucks because it's, like, too separated. Um... The thumb... The sticks suck because, like, it's easy to just, like, lose grip on them. And they're, and they're really, like, fat, but they don't- but they also don't stick out enough. The stand select buttons feel like shit because of how rubbery they are. The controller is so tiny, it's for babies, basically, like, baby hands. It feels, like, extremely flimsy. It's like it's made in, like, the world's cheapest, like, Chinese sweatshop factory. And, uh, yeah, that's basically it. <laughs> It is one of the cheapest feeling official controllers I've ever felt in my life. And the PS3 controller basically feels the same, except because it has a battery inside, it, it, um, it weighs a tiny bit more, and it has, like, the triggers, so it is, like, a slightly better PS2 controller. Yeah, for real. One controller I've softened on a little bit is the uh, OG Xbox OG controller, not not the Duke, uh, the S controller, because it actually, it's a little bigger than the 360 controller, and I actually do slightly prefer its size, I'm not gonna lie. However, the reason why I still hate on it is because the stop button placement is fucking terrible. It's so awful.
you have one of the be one of the highest opinions of the do controller that I've seen online. I'm not gonna lie, even just calling it like I think it's cool. I own one. I got it for cheap as well, but I would never actually use it. Why are its buttons shaped like eggs? It's way too fucking big. Like, I know it was a much more mature console, so it also had a demographic of adults, and not just kids. But like, I think they went too far and accidentally made a controller for Bigfoot. Yeah, I remember that. I think the S is a really good size. But I hate it because the stop button placement is so terrible. And that only really matters for movie, but still. Dude, it was fucking right. Did you see that shit? Did you see that shit? Did you see how close I was to 211? It's so close, man. It's... Oh, man. It has to be possible. I just don't know when it's gonna happen. Yeah, who skipped a 113? Yeah, I pie. And then it just, like, fell off, like, really quickly, and everybody was like, hold on, this thing fucking sucks. Having the Xbox as a kid must have been pretty crazy because of how fucking powerful it was, and how just... It was so monstrously powerful compared to the PS2 and the Game Gear, especially... Well, the GameCube, I think, was more powerful than the PS2, but because it could only hold, like, one point something gigabytes of data, like, on a disc, like, so many games just couldn't come to GameCube or had to have severe compromises. The Xbox was a monster, dude. There is, there is a game on the original Xbox that can actually, if you mod the Xbox, you can, you can get it to run a 1080i. It can literally run a 1080i. Isn't that insane? And there are multiple games that can run a 720 as well. Yeah, 720p. It's not a lot of them, but some of them can. There's a crash racing game that can run a 720. It looks amazing. What's up, quick man? Um, still though, having those component cables is very good because at least over here, very expensive and rare. Hell, they don't really even exist. I got mine from a retro shop. It, it costs like I'm trying to think of it in dollars. It costs like seventy something dollars, and one of the audio cables doesn't work, so I'm using mono. That's what I had to do to get gameplay like this. And that's just one piece of the puzzle as well. Yeah, no, the 1080i is still, like, amazing. Compared to, like, 480i. Because a lot of Xbox games, by default, just would just only accept 480i. But, uh, you obviously after modding it, you can make most games run a 480p, including this game. This game's running a 480p right now, that's the most it accepts. Oh, right, okay. Well, it, it's probably still better than, like, composite. It might even be better than this video. I'm using an upscaler, but I'm not actually able to upscale. I'm using the open source scan converter, and it has an option called Line 2x to double my line count. 
but I can't use it because my capture card is fucking gay. So I'm just using pass through. It is still upscaling. It's still converting it, the quality to be as high as it can be without like properly upscaling it. But it could look better, and but unfortunately, I got fucked. But it still looks like amazing, obviously. Did Mindy bother to tell us if the train was still running around here? Retro tank. I have a retro tank. I got it from America. I selected the cheap shipping option. They gave they made they forced me to use the most exp I I already I had already paid for it, right? And then I got a letter from the post office that was basically like, um, you didn't pay all of your shipping, so we're seizing your product, and it's like, I didn't pay for the fucking fast shipping, bro, what the fuck? I literally didn't, I, I didn't select the option. So yeah, I had to, so basically, it costs like 130-something dollars. And then I had to buy the compo the S-Video cables, which cost, um, the Xbox ones that cost like 30 Pound, I think. Hello, Mythic. How are you doing today? I only used my, uh, yeah, I, I had to import those from America. There is an EU shop, but I don't think it existed at, at the time. And, um,. While there is one now, if you go on it, it's almost always out of stock. However, the OSSC is actually a European product, so that's why I recommend the OSSC. Nice. This run is really fucking good. Elgato's a finicky and fucking stupid, but all I know is that the one that I'm using works with OSSC and a modded Xbox. I forgot, I, I, I don't know where, where I thought I was going. It's kind of cringe. Super spin cycle. Thank you for the good luck. Also, yeah, sorry to hear that. You know, when you like, when when there's like something wrong or whatever, it's really easy to feel like you're the only one who like, who's experiencing something bad. But like. One thing that helps is that knowing that pretty much everyone has, like, something going on, you know? Fuck. Alright, well, my, my menuing sucked, unfortunately. Honk. Um... Yeah, Limber, I get that. Although, um, you can just use a Japanese N64, but obviously... Because... But then you still gotta buy an N64. I, I have um, high-quality high S-Video cables for N64, and I have a Retro Tink, the Retro Tink 2X Mini. SM64 looks really good with it. It, it almost looks as good as, like, RGB mods. Like, it, it's really, really good. Yeah. 
Looks amazing. But I don't know what capture cards work well with this setup. Because I used a different capture card for my Elgato, and, uh... Well, I mean, it, it functioned, I suppose, but it was just my stupid LGP life. Fucking sucks, hate that thing. Hello, Curtis. Squares. Actually, that doesn't work. I was thinking that balls is like circular, so I was like, oh, circle, square, but like you didn't say circles, so that doesn't really work. Anyway, what's up? I've had some issues with, with connecting a controller to Project 64, and I don't know why. That emulator's given me more issues with connecting controllers than any other emulator, and I seriously do not know why. Dolphin's given me issues in the past, too, though. I remember, um, the only way I could get- I could get it to, like, connect my contr uh, controller to- Because we were using Parsec to connect to Sam's thingy. There was, like, only one specific way that it could work, and I can't remember what the way was, but it was so stupid. It had something to do with, like, disconnecting the controller and then reconnecting it whenever the game was booting up or something stupid like that. It was- yeah, it was something really stupid. Dude, I had, years ago, I had such an... Such a specific controller issue that it, it feels impossible for it to happen. Right? We were using, um, like... What's it called? Like, Netplay, whatever the fuck, for, like, Mario Party, right? And every single time... Right? I, every time I, I went in the shop, right? In Mario Party, every text box, my controller would disconnect. Every te every text box that's the... I think it was like Toad running the shop. Every time Toad would talk to me. One line. Disconnect the controller, reconnect it. I can press A one time. Next line. Disconnect the controller, reconnect it. Press A one line. And it would only ever happen on the, in the shop and only per text box like how do, like that's d does that not sound physically impossible to happen why not just fix it yeah no like actually though My PC hates my Switch Pro controller, so I have to use my, like, adapter thing that converts it to a 360 controller for it to, like, work. But yeah, it sucks that you're having issues with, uh, Project 64 and couldn't play the game. But yeah, if, the, if, the, if you... The thing is, as well, is if you want to even be taken seriously, like, you have to play on, uh, N64. <laughs> and then, obviously, like, the controllers are expensive, and... And you could use Hori, but they, the Hori's on is good, and then you want a second Hori for Bowser throws anyway, and then you want an Everdrive, which is really expensive. And then you need, like... Capture card for it, which is expensive, and then, obviously, you want a Japanese cartridge and an American cartridge. And, like, ugh. Dude, I- I'm not even joking. I bought four Horries until I finally got a good one. Yeah, no, I, I've used the retro bit ones before the bed. Dude, the A button gets stuck after a bit, and I open the controller, there's no dirt in there, it just gets stuck. Like, th there's nothing even causing it to get stuck, it just gets stuck. 
I switched to Hori and I almost instantly felt like a better player. My movement felt a lot better. Even even though like I had to get, I had to relearn everything. It didn't even take long because I just felt like I had more freedom with the stick. E even though Hori is still not good compared to actual like OEM for like angles and shit. Also, I just got perfect guess jumps, like a boss. Oh yeah, nah, like... If you were, yeah, if you were buying the ones with USBNs, like, all of them are bad. Like, every single one of them is, they're all bad. <laughs> Brass cringe. Granted, I kind of want a GameCube adapter, but not for, not for speedruns, bro. Not for running a game that was not meant to have those, like, notches. So yeah, if you want to, like, guess serious SM64, you need the N64, you need, like, an American copy, a Japanese copy, an EverDrive, an SD card, a, uh, one Hori, one OEM controller, and then you want splitter cables, and, like, GVUSB, probably, and, uh, some of the composite cables that you can connect, like, one goes into the TV, the other one goes out of the TV to go into the capture card, like... You need, uh, you need all that. Although you can cheap out and get, like, a knockoff EverDrive. Well, it's it's a it's a tiny bit over a second, but yeah. Also, I mean, you are gonna want to buy a US copy eventually because once you even have like a fifty-two, it really starts. You really start to get to the point of how can I even save time beyond this point? So you you scramble for every second advantage that you can get. I bought an American copy, and it cost me £40, and for some reason my capture card doesn't like specifically the American copy. Like, it literally makes no sense, like... The capture card had no issues with the Japanese copy, but it had issues with the American copy. And would cause massive audio desync. It literally makes zero sense. I think I think JP saves like two point something. Yeah, the yeah, the the um those two are like the deciding factors. And you don't do them in 70 because <laughs> it's slow as fuck. There's only like one fast JRB star, which is like the framework one, but it's not worth like going all the way over there just to get it.
plankton is you There actually is a pretty funky route you can do, though. It's like... It's like, um... You do CCM18, but still do uh, SSL Secrets. And then you do uh, a THI Reds in late game, and you do that to replace... Uh, Wedge Dry World 100 Coins plus Secrets. And it loses, like, five seconds, but that's compared to good RNG. And obviously, like, playing, you know, playing good on top of that. But I don't think anybody does the route. Oh, God. Atrocious three meter man. Well, you know, it is surprisingly toxic, star. Like, because again, I, I had a, I had a fifty-two, and I compared my uh, one hundred plus secrets to like Ouija's, and I lost like fucking like fifteen seconds or something, and I cannot visualize how I could possibly lose more than like five. The issue with it is that you have to play for such a long stretch of time for 70 star standards. And it's really hard to compose yourself and react to, like, if you do get bad RNG. I've, I've done pillarless. Dude, there's no way I lost as much time as this. There's no way. How did I lose this much? How the fuck did I lose 13 seconds, man? I can't imagine where the 13 seconds came from. I I, I lost like... I lost like... Oh, wait, no. Wait, no, I know how. Ah, fuck. Okay, so 3 meter 2 frame in most categories only saves like 2.5 to 3 seconds. But I forgot that because I'm gonna warp out of 3 meter regardless, it is actually a full token equivalent. Which means that, yeah, no, I actually do know where the time loss came from. That's so sad, man. My best possible time is one second faster than what my PB's best possible time was into Neptune. And, and like I said, you know, it's too hard for me to play this good, like, because my PB was too amazing out of, S out of, uh, like, BBBH2. So basically, like... I'm just gonna have to accept the run. I said this earlier. I'm gonna have to accept the run where it's like plus, like going into Neptune and they, and it only PBs because I don't choke in Neptune. Like you know those PBs where it's just worse. It's literally just a much worse run except you save time in the final spot. It's one. It's gonna be one of those. Yeah, I do. I do. Uh, Shigeru. Reds. It took a very long time for me to. Not suck at it. It's funny. Uh, they they do they do a cycle called Tsukushima cycle, and it's actually like more viable than 120 than it is in 70 because you do Dark World so much sooner. But like, yet like, I see people reset to Tsukushima so fucking often. <laughs> Skipping it isn't really an option because of just how fast it is if you if you're like even decent to the game and don't die during the star. I just feel like in the long term you're not doing yourself a favor. I mean you are doing yourself a favor if you just learn the star now. I, 
I I learned LBLJ, but I just did it for 16 star and never got a PB with her because how fucking Risa heavy it is. And it drastically changes the route. So you have to do like much harder stars. Seventy star is like extremely hard to learn, but obviously because it's SM sixty four, people just kind of put up with it and just learn it anyway. You know, in a situation where they might give up with battle or movie, they would not give up with SM sixty four specifically because it's SM sixty four. One in a million. Now I have one health and I have no clue what the cycle is. Practically guaranteed to fucking die, I think. No, apparently not. Okay, I'm alive somehow. I'm pretty sure I missed that, but I could not afford to miss that fucking... Did I actually get it? Frogfish is 35. How many tokens do I get in Plank? It's 5, right? Because I just don't do Monumental. Yeah, 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 okay. I actually... The fact that that worked just goes to show how powerful, like, buffers are, by the way. Because <laughs> I was not fucking... I was not touching that token at all. Yeah, no, you have to mash. You have to mash fast. You, eventually, when you get really good at it, you mash in, like, a rhythm, but you, so you don't mash, like, as fast as possible or whatever once you actually understand it, but, like, you still fucking mash. Like, it's still, you know... I'm not good at mashing. I don't think you want to mash as fast as possible for Toxic Maze BLJ, because I think you you can, you can risk getting too much speed. So I think that one actually is has always been like a, a rhythm one, I think. If I'm not mistaken. You know, why do I do Bungie before Spongebob, when Spongebob is just, like, harder? <laughs> I don't know. I always just liked doing Bungie to Spongebob for some reason. I think Emeru or someone else, I forgot, mashed some... Uh, they were using a metronome, uh, Emeru was, and now she, and she is actually weirdly good at BLJs after that. It is like a rhythm thing. I, I mean, I don't understand... I'm, I'm not claiming to, like, know what BLJs, like, understand them. But I do know that, like, there is, like, some sort of technique to it. And it isn't literally just mashing. Which is why the six, the top 16 star players are so consistent at BLJs compared to everybody else. Even if they still don't get them like that often. Cause so it clearly isn't like just mashing, you know? However, when you don't know anything about it other than you have to mash, then yeah, mashing fast is basically your best option. And because I can't mash, all my 16 star runs would die there. Unfortunately. I didn't know where to warp afterwards. I kind of I I normally don't get that frame, so I know my gold isn't perfect. I can improve it by like three seconds. Sixteen star is a stupid category, but I still respect like all the runners who like got the time down. Obviously, most notably Suiji. played seven seconds off the sob, and like two seconds of that I think was like Dark World. Like, obviously it wasn't perfect, but as far as, like, human play is concerned, 
that's about as good as it gets, I feel like. Pretty much. Seven seconds, like, that's insane, man. Suiji's 16 star time was so good when he got it. Out of all of the main categories for SM64, that one had the biggest time difference between first and second place compared to every other category. It was so good that second pl only second places some of best could beat the world record, and that was it. No way, man. Oh my fucking god. How did I not get that? Like, how, how did I not get that? I'm not even gonna bother. I so clearly had that. That was gonna, like, tie the segment and, and like, like, literally just get an average Neptune. I would've just clobbered my time. It probably would've been good enough. Stop playing the category, but of course, you know. Of course, of course, of course, of course. I won't get that opportunity again until 2024. Like, a month ago, I think it was, I predicted that, uh... I, I was pretty confident in saying that I'd be done with Operation Kill Movie before the end of the year. Now, I'm, now unironically, like, just because of this category, I, I think it might not happen. What's up, Six? Oh, you said hi earlier. I didn't see a message. Sorry, I just looked up and I... I saw a blue name, and I just... Yeah, sorry. Uh, and you both have, like, a bit badge. The people that actually push the category are really good runners, but the category is so dumb. 100% agree. I, I've seen people... I've seen people be like, oh, like, what category should I get into in this game? And everyone's like, M16 star is a good starting point. like, is it? Hey. I kind of don't think it is, honestly. Like, okay, yeah, learning the absolute basics, kind of. But, like, you really expect, like, absolute, like, fucking beginners who don't know anything about speedrunning to, like, consistently do MIPS clip and fucking, like, BLJs. I don't know, man. And the way the Bowser in the Sky is is laid out, if you make if a beginner makes like fucking any mistake in Bowser in the Sky, they're gonna fall all the way down and die, and they're gonna miss like five hundred Bowser throws. I don't know, man. I just, especially if they have any delay on the thing, Bowser throws are so much harder with any delay. I just don't see how it's a good starting point. I th I genuinely think a good starting point, even though the kind of meme categories would be something like thirty star. But honestly, I think even just, like, 70 star, like, if you just want to do that, I feel like, you know. Well, that's the thing, though, Limba. I feel like 16 star is only better to play as a beginner if you are impatient and just won't learn all the stars. Yeah, nah, like, I think I figured out the strat to, like, getting good at the game as soon as possible, right? Learn 16 star and grind it for, like, two years, like, without, with, like, hardly any breaks. And then you'll have insane godlike movement and will understand, like, the very little itty-bitty bits of the game. A little movement techniques and stuff like that. And you'll, and you'll be very desperate to learn, like, all the lag reduction, like, everything, you know what I mean? And do, like, super fast Bowser throws. So you'll be your movement will be absolutely insane. Then you move on the seventy star, and then you, you um and then because you'll have amazing movement, all you got to worry about then is being able to play under pressure for longer and to have more consistency. And then once that's finally worked out for you, and you find and you get like a forty eight or a forty seven really easily, 
th th people, if you grind 16 stuff for like two years and then go to 70, you can literally get a 47 in like fucking like a couple months. Then you go to 120, and after you're done learning all the stars and you run 120, you just, I mean, 139 is not going to be hard. 138 is not even going to be that hard. And yeah, you just become a top level runner. After, after like, three years of playing the game, spending most of it on 16, so... When I was getting into the game years ago, a category I actually really liked was 45 star, but it kind of sucks these days unless you know certain tricks. Forty-five star is three stars in every stage, no secret stars. So no uh, Bowser red coins, no like toad stars, no mips. Just three stars in every level, right? Um, the reason why it sucks is because if you don't do island hop in Bob, then you have to do uh, you have to do Bob Om King. So you just lose a shit ton of time. Then, in JRB, if you don't do Framework, you have to do, uh, Ship. And also, in BBH, you have to, you have to do Red Coins, which sucks, because Red Coins are not done, like, on their own. You have, to, you have to learn a brand new star, like, literally just for 45 star, which sucks. I don't think so. They, they would- I'm pretty sure they would do Chests. Um, wait, hold on. Oh, wait, no, 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 yeah, yeah, you, you have to, you have to do ship anyway, but if you do framework, then you, you don't have to open the cannon, so it saves a shit ton of time, my bad. But it is a good, it, af after BBH, it's actually a good category to get into the game. Because TTM, for example, normally you do five TTM stars, I think. Yeah, you do five. But in that category, you obviously have to do three, so you just skip, like... Like, you don't necessarily have to skip the two slowest ones. You can skip whichever two you don't like. Whichever ones are hardest for you, you can just not do them. Red coin's too hard, just don't fucking do it, you won't lose that much time. It's great. Wedge Dry World, no 100 coins plus secrets. Very nice. Like, Rainbow Ride, um, no, you don't have to do, like, Lack of Two Bounce if you don't want to. It, it honestly, most people are not going to save ten because they're not going to have like super fast LBLJ. So f I feel like for most people, it's probably going to save like seven. But that time save is just too juicy. People can't ignore it. And also, um, if you if you do LBLJ, then you're more inclined to learn a faster Dark World cycle. So, like, when you think of it like that, it kind of saves even more time, because it gets you to learn something faster. Mario's movement does initially feel clunky, but, like, after, like, you fully, you know, fully get a grip of his movement, he does feel kind of nice to move around sometimes. Well, sometimes it still doesn't feel great, but honestly, like... Have you ever seen a runner lose a run, and then they and then they go to the castle and they just jump around, do some wall kicks, do some dives, do speed kicks? Like, it's just fun to fuck around with the movement after you like understand it, after you learn it.
I think Odyssey has, like, really insane movement, but I feel like it's almost too much, and I don't want to learn it because of that. How are you supposed to, like, learn Odyssey properly when, like, 99% of what you do is movement-based? There's other reasons why I wouldn't run Odyssey anyway. First of all, I don't want to shake the controller around like a fucking dumbass. Gives me headaches. Second, um, I don't want to have to, like, change the Switch's internal clock before every run, and also it takes too long to get a run going. And, uh, yeah. I love speed kicks. Dude, also, the other thing with SM64 is that it takes way too long to learn things to save, like, hardly anything. In BBH, I learned some, like, faster balcony movement. And it I probably spent, like, five hours practicing it, and I'd still miss it, like, a third of the time. And it only saved, like, 0.7. And in Womps 100, there was this, uh, camera I was using to reduce, like, lag, and it saved, like, it saved, like, 0.2, and the number of runs I lost there just because the camera angle was terrible, like, I don't even want to talk about it, bro. I learned, uh, I, th I think the craziest I got was, yeah, Intermediate Cycle Womps 100. I, I was thinking of learning Advanced Womps 100, but then stuff happened and I came back to this game. I wanted to get 51 in, in 70 star, but then Usta got, like, within, like, 20 something. It's like 20 something seconds off my time, and I wanted to come back to movie eventually anyway, and I was like, alright, man, I feel like, you know, I gotta, I gotta come back now, you know? If I'm, like, available to speedrun movie, and I want to speedrun movie, and somebody's gonna take my time if I don't speedrun movie, then, like, yeah, it'd be kind of fucking stupid to not speedrun movie then, wouldn't it? I just wanted 51 first, but it never happened. Nope. I remember back in the day, movie had more of an emphasis on, like, doing tricks compared to movement, but... I've had people ask me, like, does movement really matter that much? And I, f I feel like even, like, high-level players, some of them don't, like, well, in like, intermediate-level players don't seem to grasp how much movement actually matters. Like, you know when I was doing my example beginner run thing, and I I wasn't happy with it. I, I got, like, a 114, but I wasn't happy with it. I wanted, like, a low 114, I think it was, because I made a major mistake in Plank, I think, is what happened. And I remember Carden just being like, oh, couldn't somebody else do the run? I'm like, no. They would not be able to get a 114. He's like, oh, but, um... I don't remember. Like, I'm not shitting on him, but it, yeah, he was like... He was basically saying, like, he feels like a lot of people could get a 114. It's like, no, like, only I... at the Because at the time, because Usta wasn't, like, a top-level runner at that point, I don't think. Only I could have gone 114, because there was, like, no leniency to do so. So it was you had to get, like, almost everything first try and have really good movement. So it seems like even the intermediate-level players don't seem to fully grasp, like, how important movement is. I mean, for fuck's sake, right? I compared my SCDA floating block to Sam's, and mine was fucking 11 seconds faster. It's a 1 minute 20 something second long token, and my floating block was 11 seconds faster. Not- it, it wasn't even because of ice physics glitch, it was literally just from worse movement, like, where that caused the 11 second difference. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, Limba. That that's why like all of the example videos have input display. Very important to look at it. Yeah. For any speed game, if you're gonna do a run with, like, no mistakes, you need to have, like, really... Like, the movement will carry. That was the entire point. That beginner run, example beginner run, was so baby-like. And, and here's the other thing as well that actually pissed me off. Like, people just be, being like, oh, why aren't you doing this? I did this when I learned the game. And it's like, yeah, but, like, you ran battle for, like, fucking months. Like, you understood the mechanics when you got into the run. Like, what the fuck? Like, bro... When it's example beginner run, it's like people who have like never played this or battle before. Like you, you don't. Like I don't understand why that's so hard to grasp. Eh, purple. Why aren't why aren't you doing canyon skip? It's so easy. I did it on my first run, and it's like. Okay, well I think like monster skip is easy. Should I do should I do monster skip? Should I, should I do monster skip in the example beginner run? I never fuck up skydive, like ever. Should I should I do skydive? Should I do, should I do skydive? Like fuck off, bro. I know what I'm doing. I I know the game better than you. All right, so stop fucking stop fucking with my shit, bro. I just feel like it's stupid to question, like the world record holder, as, as if he like doesn't know what he's fucking talking about. I started from nothing. I was that guy who couldn't do any of the strats because he was fucking terrible. I know what it's like to be a proper beginner at the game, right? And I really don't think that, like, absolute beginners need to do fucking canyon skip. Or token frames. Or anything like that. And yet, despite the lack of strats, I was still able to get a 114, which just goes to show how much movement actually matters. Well, uh, yeah, the, the thing is, Curtis, is that, um... It's not beginner movement, it's uh, expert movement, but like doing stuff that beginners should be able to do in a run, like that kind of thing. Also, I'm not gonna lie, like, to, to play as good as them, even, you probably need more than a thousand hours, honestly. These people just doing the example videos. I feel like, to, to be, like, a, a really high-level player in that game, I feel like you need to have, like, a minimum of, like, probably, like, 3,000 hours. And to be a world record holder, you probably have to have, like, 5k, with, like, not many breaks. And, like, you have to, like, practice efficiently as well. There are some runners who have, like, a terrible practice-to-run ratio, but, like, you cannot really afford to do that in that game. Your practice sessions need to last, like, fucking, like, two hours. And then there are times when you need to just grind, like, entire days of doing, like, stage RTAs and shit like that. It's gotta be done. That's a good idea, Orion. I feel like videos like that can do well in the YouTube algorithm anyway, but it, it's also just to prove a point of, like, you don't need to just add all this ridiculous shit, you know? One thing that kind of horrified me... Oh, I got the thing. One thing that kind of horrifies me... I, f I flicked through some, like, battle runners who are, like, clearly beginners, and, like, they seem to all do hammer skip, which is, like, pretty jarring for me. One oh four. See, that's pretty good. 
Although now, um, if you were to do, like... I don't know what a, what a beginner run would look like now, because it's so different, and it's like, should it have VMS, but you just do buffers or whatever? Like, I don't, I don't know. Because if you don't do VMS, and it fucks, like, it, it just makes the route a lot slower, and then you can't do crabs dupe, and then it's like, you know... One forty doing only the strats in the tutorial and it's outdated. Yeah, adapting is sometimes what you gotta do. But some people just want everything fed to them, which in itself isn't exactly a huge demand because I I just um you know at the end of the day like i understand like sometimes it is just like how the fuck am i supposed to know how to do something with like this trick i do want to update the movie i want to make a really good movie tutorial but i'm waiting until zemu is like good which doesn't seem to be happening anytime this century unfortunately Yeah, nah, some some games are lucky to have the resources that they have. Simpsons Hit and Run, on the other hand, I don't think they even had a tutorial at all until, like, 2019 or 20. You had to just watch what Liquid did, basically, and then just, and then just add, like, a lot of boxes and stuff so that you could actually, like, not get fucked on the coins, and that was basically what you did. Because back then, the only strats were, like... There were, like, a few strats. The most notable one was Armor Truck. Which, by today's standards, is not considered hard, I don't think. So, it, like, back then, it was pretty easy to just, like, kind of copy what you saw and just like, add coins. Like, school coins or whatever. And clueless coins and neighbor's coins. Yeah, Limba. I feel like that's just a good thing to do in general, because it'll also, like, force you to have some consistency and have and uh, get better at movement. That's what I'm doing with battle. I'm, I'm learning battle any percent, and I'm... I'm kind of... not grinding, because I don't have the time for that, but... I'll usually spend, like, 20 minutes a day or something doing, like, early game RTA, which doesn't include RoboSanity. I'm not doing ro fucking RoboSanity. But just up to, like, entering the side home. Because my route is... It's the exact same as Sky's, so literally just... I can compare... Ex I know what a good Poseidon entrance is, so I'm just, like, going for that, you know? I don't even know what a Robo Sandy RTA run would look like anymore. <laughs> Because, um... Basically, um... The route- ba The reason why people stopped running RoboSandy RTA is because the early game was, like, nearly identical to any percent's early game, I think, back then. Or it might have been Hundo's early game, it's hard to remember. But it was, like, I so close to, like, a different category that it was just, like, not worth your time. I didn't. I didn't even look up like like when I was when I was uh, getting fifty eight in OSB. I literally just like I just I, I don't know. I, I didn't like relearn it. I just I just I just brute forced. I just I just would go into Robo Sandy and just hope that I knew how to do it this time compared to before. Oh, is is there like an actual like? Good robot. Okay, maybe I should watch. I don't want to, but I think I might. I there was no reason for me to restart the console. I don't want to, but maybe I should like learn Robo Sandy then. I 
I, I just do the shit I used to do in 2018 <laughs> because like <laughs> I I just didn't want to I just didn't want to spend like fucking two hours in Robo Sandy trying to figure everything out. Ah oh, god, do I hate Robo Sandy? It's so it <sighs> Robo Sandy just in terms of like how long it is hasn't really changed over the years. Still really long. Like it's not the end of the world. It's not like you know Robo Pat's longer, but yeah. All right, I guess I'll have to learn it. Honestly, I was I was really hoping I could just skip that, but well, having having even the uh, mental ability to play a game so much is a skill in itself. Honestly. As impressive as it would be for somebody to play battle for eight hours a day for six days a week, that's it. That just kind of pales in comparison to like I don't even know how long, like ten hours every day. Like that's seventy hours. Like if you play more than anybody else, then the only way that somebody can catch up to you is if you're either playing the game inefficiently, or if they're really gifted, or if they play just as much as you. Which for a lot of for most people is impossible, because um, you have school or a job or whatever, so you just cannot play as much as some of these like SM64 runners, for example. You just can't. Cheese said this, and I kind of agree. If you want to go from zero to world record holder in that game, you basically have to not have a job. Or at least, like, a full-time job. You can't have a full-time job. And I kind of agree. Because by the time you even become, like, a, like, a would-be top player, it's already been, like, three or four years. And now these other players uh, have gotten even better, and now you got to catch up to them again. And, and they're probably playing more than you, so you'll never catch up, like, that type of thing. I've been watching Rubber, like, recently, and it's pretty- it's very different compared to what- to obviously what I used to do. It's pretty nuts, it's like... Late game is so different. The fucking Larry and Guppy back to back, like, holy fuck, dude. Plus, like, Mermelet Lay looks pretty hard to do fast. Yeah, I can see that, Curtis. My plan is just to get into the game with Sky's Route, and then I will try and learn Larry and Guppy, and if I want to kill myself, then I guess I'll just stop. Well, the plan is to keep playing Battle until Movie finally has time saves again. That's the plan. So, now it's just a thing of putting up with the game for long enough so a movie can finally have some time saves. Basically. I've, I've seen... You gotta do, like, some Bash Strat, and it looks pretty hard. And then, like, you wanna get, like, the animation skip for Prawn, which includes getting, like, a, um, a one frame, I think. Um, and, uh, yeah, not a pog champ. No. Well, yeah, thing is, Limba, one, one massive thing, one massive thing is going to be, uh, movement. Like, and that's also how it is in SM64, like, I bet a lot of people could not tell the movement differences between somebody with a 137 and somebody with a 139. I bet most people can't tell the difference. But that's a massive two-minute gap.
Movie is, uh, it is more linear. It, it, it's more obvious what you should learn. But to be honest, I feel like it's kind of harder to initially learn compared to battle. Because even though the battle has, like, the cruise boosting, you have, like, 40 quintillion different routes you can do. Whereas when in movie, there's, like, there's hardly anything you can do if you don't like something. You have to do Creek. You have to do SCDA out of bounds, you know? You have to do SCDA floating block. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure. SM64 tasks are insane. I know they're currently working on a 120 star task. Um, I know it, it, a lot of progress was made with it, so I'm, I'm not sure, but that was a, like a year ago, so I don't know if it's been canned or not, or if it's just on a hiatus, or if they're reworking a lot of the stars, I really don't know. The only thing I know is that, compared to the 2012 tasks, um, they managed to get B.O.B. 100 to be like, fucking like 10 seconds faster or something, which is insane for a task. Like... If, if you can improve a task, granted, it's, yeah, sure, it's still really long. But if you could even improve it by, like, 30 seconds, that's technically impressive. But, like, it's gone beyond that. I think it's gonna be improved by, like, over a minute. Dang. Welcome back, Latte. Also, I agree. Are you talking about, like, the slide skip to even, like, get to, uh, Prawn? Because... That trick is quite easy compared to some of the other stuff. You just build up speed on the thingy for like three seconds and then you're good to go. I don't want to continue this. Okay, what I will say about Dilemma Skip, because you're in the PAL region, right? Wait, okay, yeah, yeah. Are you playing the PAL version of the game? I want to I wanna ask that first. Okay, yeah, I was I was gonna say, yeah, the duplicator Tron takes longer to explode, so, yeah. Uh, I had, like, immense issues with, uh... Immense difficulty with Dilemma Skip. Uh, because I, we didn't know that for a while. Fast Prawn Skip. I think I do that one. I learned it off of rubber, I think, so I probably do the fastest one. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Um, if you download like an uh, an NTSC Xbox uh, files of BFB and then put that on your hard drive, even if you're on a PAL Xbox, it'll automatically like switch to NTSC. Oh yeah, nah. I I do what rubber does. Manager coming through. Boing. By the way, that I it, when I was going for fifty eight, I tr I tried to learn like that boat bash strat, and I fucking it sucks, dude. Sucks. Do not like it. You can change a PAL disk to NTSC. I have no idea if you can change the hard drive files to NTSC. I seriously don't know. Because I just downloaded them. Um, well, actually, I burnt my NTSC disk to the hard drive, so it, it didn't matter for me. Dude... Running toss was like the hardest thing ever because like you'd, you'd switch from battle or movie to toss and the camera's different Really fucking like it's 
really hard to get used to. I'm fine with wall jump skip, but only if I ledge grab, like, that one spot. The reason why is because then it gives me time to, uh... It gives me time to turn the camera and then, like, give it a second to bash. Also, it normalizes movement for in case I have a slow cruise boost. and Because if I do, then I'll, I'll ledge grab the thingy regardless. So I always did it with a ledge grab. But since I'm getting back into the game now, I, I'll, try and, I'll try and learn the bow bash right again. again. Like I said before, learning mi mid and late game will not be hard because it's mostly just things I've already learned. But I, I, So I will try to learn, like, a couple more strats, you know? I'm also going to try and, like, get used to RCBs. I don't do RCBs, they suck, but I'll, I'll try and force them. Sandwich out of bounds is really, really, really awful, and I would not wish anybody, not even my worst enemy, to do sandwich out of bounds. It is the worst thing ever. Compared to the significantly easier version of the trick, the shit stays four, four and a half seconds, and it's fucking horrible. It has like five steps. There's a billion things that can go wrong per step. It is horrible. I hate it so much. And I cannot believe I ever used to complain about the old one because it's 500 times easier. But now I'm too, I'm too deep in. I gotta do this strat instead. Speaking of, um, my problem with it was I couldn't control if I could get the ledge grab or not. I just purposely, like, kind of wiggled SpongeBob a little bit when I was, like, jumping to it. Like, I, yeah, that's just what I did. Just purposely not having good, like, jump spacing. Learning Suki would be like... Y y okay, let me put it like this, right? If you learn the absolute hardest things, you will never, ever get a run going. Because you are not letting yourself build consistency and movement. Basically, what I'm trying to say is... If you immediately learn Suki, I, I'm... It would make you a worse player overall compared to just doing Shigeru. Like, in the... Like... It would make you a worse player. Plus, like, there's a lot more to worry about as a beginner compared to the hardest strats, right? Put, put it like this, right? Put it like this. Um, do you have any idea how many people ha I have been like, I'm not running this game because I'm not, I don't want to do Creek and I'm not doing Cartwheel Creek because it loses like 25 seconds? You're going to lose, to me, compared to me, you're going to lose, like, three minutes in Nathalie Man on your first run, and you're worried about, like, 25 fucking seconds. You're going to lose, like, two and a half minutes in SCDA. You're going to die again and again and again and again. And, you, and your movement's going to be fucking terrible. You're going to lose minutes, and you're worried about 25 seconds, like... That's exactly what the point of the example beginner run was, was to show how good of- Like, at the time, a 114 was- I think it was top 10, like... Uh... 
Maybe Sky. Where did my toothpick go? Where'd it go? I can't find it. Well, I lost a I lost a toothpick. Anyway, yeah, maybe Sky. I don't remember if I factored that into the timing or not, so I can't fucking remember. I am an absolute reset monkey in that game, and all I gotta really say to you is uh, don't win that trick. I have way more resets than I should for somebody with a 52. Keep in mind, I've ran the game in the past. I've, like, you know, watched lots of runs. But when I came back to the game, it was my first time playing on N64. So my attempt count that I'm about to tell you is just from N64 when I've already had experience with the game. And I, you know. Anyway, um, I... My attempt count was exactly 3,700 when I stopped. Which for a 52 is fucking... That's bad. For that many attempts, you'd think I have, like, a 49. A manager is always prepared. But it's it's because I'd brute force 100 attempts a day. This is a job for a manager. Well, that, that's a hyper... That's a hyper-precise setup that actually isn't even really very consistent. But again, that's why movement is, like, the most important thing in that game. That's why you gotta just get get runs going and just normalize movement. Yeah, as, as much as a re of a reset monkey as I was, I, I, di I never learned texture setup. I only did, like, full fat setup. Which is like the backflip, like the punch. As as much of a reset monkey as I was, I still did that because I hated texture setup, let alone salt. Whenever I see people like people's videos on SM64, like the like one thing is very consistent, which is complaining about the camera. And obviously, I know that the camera is bad, but I don't know in what, like, I still can't agree. I agree, but I don't agree. Because I ran the game, I know how to make the camera do exactly what I want. So for me, the camera is not a problem, but I know that the camera is going to be an issue for some random guy playing the game. But because I know exactly how to make it do what I want, it's almost never, I almost never have complaints about the camera. It's like when something sucks, but you're so accustomed to it, so you don't think it sucks anymore. That's, like, pretty ironic, I feel like. You know one side effect of speedrunning that sucks? I don't know if you guys get this, but do you ever... Like, watch somebody play your speed game casually, or they're a beginner runner, and, like, you you unironically struggle to watch the gameplay because of how much you cringe. So much because you kind of, like, imagine yourself as, like, holy fuck, that was me. Like, that was me a few years ago, you know, like, that kind of thing. Like, that that is so hard to ignore. With SM64 specifically. Do you have any idea... How many videos I've seen talking about SM64 is like, the movement is so good, and they'll do like three long jumps in a row in, in Bob on Battlefield. Like, I don't, like, uh, it makes me cringe, bro. It makes me cringe so hard. Shaky cam. I guess to make it more realistic, but yeah, that is kind of stupid.
I could not watch anyone play, like, anything casually. That's not the case with me. Because I kind of suck at video games that, like, that I haven't put 5 billion hours into. Like, I know what it's like to suck at a game. If it's just, like... And also, with certain games, like Pokemon, as long as somebody knows their type matchups, like, there's nothing that they can really do that makes me, like, cringe. You know what I mean? Do I print- do I say a name like Doey? I assume. Um... I feel like almost every speed game, like... A lot- I think a lot of speed games have more movement than what meets the eye, but yeah, some are more chill than others. Some are really hard to get a grasp on, while some are easy to get a grasp on, but it's still, like, important. I think, like, non-cruise boost movement in battle and this game's movement, like, obviously they, it doesn't exactly look flashy, but it, it's very important. Alright, cool, I'm glad I got the name right. It's torture. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like... Maybe the reason why I play so much Pokemon is because it's like... It's so different to the run that like... I don't feel like I'm a bad player whenever I'm playing it. I mean, I can't be a bad player when I know my tight matchups and I... Like, know how to build, like, decent teams with, like, decent type synergy and shit like that. I wanted to run Left 4 Dead 2 before, but I just didn't because I, I really did not want to learn B-hopping. And, and I feel like you basically have to learn B-hopping because otherwise, not only is the run pretty much completely different, but, like... You have to deal with a lot more, like, enemies, which means, like, e like more, like, RNG. Because you're not just, you're not, you don't have the movement speed to just skip, like, most enemies. I also decided not to because of Left Dead Survivors, the arcade version that I ran. I was running that at the time, but because um, it's locked at 60, and I didn't want to run Left 4 Dead, actual Left 4 Dead 2 at 60, like, and, but then I didn't, like, I didn't want to, like, learn B-hops on a different frame rate, like, in two games, like, I, I didn't want to do that. I've gotten so many, like, low 212s today, it's crazy. I've seen too many people who play Pokemon with the text speed not on fast. Oh yeah, nah, that's like the first thing I do, bro. It's 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 a, it's necessary. It's gotta be done. Let's play a percent. We zoom in the camera and I'm not allowed to touch right stick the entire run. That sounds fucking awesome. movie let's play a percent like when you do bat tracking tokens you have to pick the ones that make the least amount of sense and are really fucking slow and are hard like weenie ring and now them in combat are you allowed to like do that would be hopping also, hello, shrimp, man. What's up? Fire C Reds was always I I I went from beginner cycle to learning advanced cycle. Like I do the exact same cycle the top level players do, and it's really fucking odd. 
You have like a second of leniency. It's insane. But for, I, for some reason, I felt inclined. I just wanted to do it. I probably put like 25 hours into it or something. Rock slide two, let's go, boys. Bruh. Sunday two. Sunday two is, uh... Dude, Sunday kind of just sucks, I'm not gonna lie. Like, why is... Weenie has the same problem, I feel like it's even worse than Sunday because it's longer. Why is the fastest path just, like, the, the, the first path that you think to go through? Why is that the why is that the fucking fastest path? What's the point of the other paths? Like, they just exist to exist, I don't understand. Who thought that was a good idea? And it's cool, too, because I like the tunnel area. You know, you know the one that gives you the extra, uh, not like the main one, like the, like the one that you're forced to do in the ring challenge. I like that one, but like again, other than ring, you're never gonna go there. Like, why would you go there? I feel like these alternate paths kind of only exist then, just to, uh, just for extras and ring challenges. I feel like that's it, uh, man. They should be faster. I don't mind shortcuts only unlocking on lap 2 or lap 3, but I feel like they should be faster, not slower. Because obviously, right, when you're a kid, and you see the water slide section in Sunday open up on lap 3, of course you're gonna think it's faster. Who the fuck wouldn't think it's faster? It's just, like, it's so confusing. No wonder I couldn't beat a lot of the time challenges, because Sunday and Weenie would just lie to me. Yeah, that slide section with ring is BS as hell. Speed choice rums. What's speed choice? Uh, that sounds cool. Instant text. Yes, please. Well, the uh, the Pokemon randomizer thing that I've used before, like, you add a ROM to it, and then you select the options that you want. There is, like, an instant text option, I think. SpongeBob. How does how does one play TF2 competitively when all the opponents are gonna be bots? Lamau XD Lamau. That sounds good, Curtis. Maybe next time I want to do a randomizer, maybe I should look into that then. I honestly, like, I haven't done rando in a while. The last time I did was, like, December 2021, I think. I did one for Fire Red. Um, I've been more so enjoying, like, vanilla Nuzlocke. That's what I've been enjoying. It gets you, because you're forced to use Pokemon that you otherwise wouldn't use. So it creates a very unique playthrough. I have to use shit I would never use, like Mighty Anna or, or like, uh, Cacton or, like, I don't know, Spiro. <laughs> like, 
Also, hello, I ask stupid questions, but I also need to tell you to uh, shut your fucking mouth. Earlier, I was having issues with rub dub skip and now I'm having issues with this. Fun fact, um, there was, like, this, uh, channel that I think is, like, affiliated with, like, Nintendo in some way. And, and they literally said to Nintendo, like, oh, what if you guys showcased a Nuzlocke and they shut it down, basically. Like, basically, what Nintendo said is that they view vanilla Nuzlocke's in the same, uh, in the same vein as, like, ROM hacks. Is what Nintendo said. So, yeah. If Nintendo had the option, they would- they would- if they had the legal option, they would kill you for doing a Nuzlocke, basically. They're the richest company in Japan, I don't know how, like, this fucking stupid. I have like 20 something hours in TF2 and I have exclusively played a scout because I thought it'd be funny to only ever play a scout. And yeah, I've stuck to my word. I have no time in any other character. I literally have just played scout. When you play a scout, it's easy to, like, sometimes it feels like you're useless. But then there are times you just dominate. It's, like, weird. But, like, when, when like, a heavy, for example, is getting pocketed, it just, it, like, in, in, like, they were just, like, it just feels like scouts just, like, hardwalled. It's, like, nothing you can do. It just, that's what it feels like anyway. Yeah, I feel like they probably didn't say. Because otherwise, I feel like, I, like, unironically, I feel like Twitter would be, tr like, would have that trending because of how massive that would be. So I, and I was on Twitter shortly before stream, so I don't think they said that. Well, yeah, but, like, Ninten Nintendo's been, like, the main one, like, shutting down. Th there's a reason why, I mean... They they were taking down Kaze's videos, uh, SM64 ROM hack videos. So, that's why, whenever he releases a hack, he has to do a playthrough of it. And then just provide the download link in the description, because otherwise Nintendo... If, if if all the video does is show off a ROM hack and nothing else, Nintendo will literally taking down his videos. Scout on offense before last, and there aren't any sentries or heavies or direct hit soldiers. Oh yeah, he was get yeah, when when I played a scout, I was getting fucking destroyed by soldiers. I forgot about that. Obviously, I have a very limited experience with the game compared to a lot of people. But one thing that feels like really weirdly overpowered is Uber. Dude, I I've been fucking this up a lot for some reason. Jumping, jumping. 
Does it look like I'm competitive, Brev? I would just play like an hour or two of TF2 with my friends once a week. Welcome. And I don't know how to... I don't know what the weaknesses of the other classes are because I've only played Scout because I wanted to be funny. So I, I, I don't know, like, what the other class's weaknesses are for me to take advantage of. I just picked Scout because he looked like the one that I would enjoy playing the most. He's so fast. You know, he's so, he, he's so lightweight, you know, he, he feels really easy to move around. And I really like that. Yeah, I suppose. I have, like, PTSD from Overwatch, so I would never pick Medic. Like, if you've ever played Overwatch and you have, like, five hours as a healer, at least, you'll, you will know. You'll experience as much fucking verbal abuse... As a woman in the 1940s or something equally funny like that. I, I know that the dynamic with the healer is different in that game. I'm just saying that I still would not be able to ask, like, asking me to play, like, as a healer when I've played a game somewhat similar to, to TF2, where you just get fucked for being a healer. It's like asking, like, an arachnophobe to, like, pick up, like, a massive spider because it's, like, it can't hurt you or something. Still don't want to do it. Or it's like... Imagine you have, like, a massive fear of needles. And, like, the needles that you have are always, like, in the really painful spots. But then, there's another needle that, that, um, that is being offered to you. That is in a less painful spot than normal, but you still absolutely despise needles. Like, yeah, it's not as bad, but it's still, like, I mean, the fear is still gonna be there from all the previous times. I've still had some thoughts about playing Xenoblade, but I just, I don't know. Can't be asked. Yeah, no, nah, I'm just on a streak of missing this now. I don't know if I want to watch the cutscenes. They're full of British people. I hate the British. I'm not joking, by the way. Like, do you have any idea how many? YouTube videos looked interesting that I instantly clicked off of when I, when I just heard the voice and I heard the British. I'm not, I'm not making a joke right now. Uh, 
I do it all the time. Okay, well this shit's working in practice, bro, so what the fuck is going on in runs? Come on, come on, come on. Anyway, yeah, the reason why I don't want to buy the game code is because the British. Hello, emulating. Thank you for the G J G G G G Gs. Hope you're doing good. I'm surprised there's been no spiders interrupting my streams. It's pretty good. Welcome. I have text in preparation for when it happens, though. Also, I forgot to update the fake ring log earlier, so we're gonna... Ah, fuck. Alright, I, I updated the fake ring log. Um, where, where's the spider t Is this it? No, that's not it. Where's my sp Ah, here it is. Look. <laughs> I have this in preparation. Welcome... Well, I, I just mean, like, Curtis, I just hate, like, how they sound. Like, it, it's hard to, like, get into a story when I genuinely hate whenever a character says anything ever. Like, imagine, like, the greatest story ever, but you want to die every time anybody speaks. Like, I don't... Yeah. Welcome. I feel like people, most people, like, kind of downplay how good they are or something. That can especially happen if you're, like... Say, for example, you're good at a speed game, like, you're top three, but you couldn't ever hope to get world record, and then you're just like, damn, I'm so terrible at the game, like, that kind of thing. Dude, I want- I have a wireless mouse, so you know what I want to do? I want to buy one of those wireless charging mats. I want one so bad. I feel like that'd be- and then it's, like, they're really long as well. Well, you can get long ones. My current mouse pad is, is small, so my DPI is a little high. Although, I, I have an L-shaped desk, and I just don't like it very much, like, for... I, also, I, I have, like, no leg room because my PC's uh, under the desk. Like a mouse. British femboys die. British femboys be like... Are you going to put your willy in my bum? Am I wrong? Also, I probably think redeeming Brexit had already happened. Might as well be normal sized. I really should get a better mouse pad, but because I hardly play PC games, it doesn't feel worth it. I don't like playing games on my PC, to be honest. Like, there's a reason why I, I'm always talking about, like, oh, I went I went to my game room, which is the 50-inch TV sitting on my bed, because it feels a lot more casual. That TV has, like, a frame or two of input lag, but I just don't care. It's, it's cause I, because it's a more casual setting, you know, it's nice. Are you going to put your willy in my bum? Wow, I just got a huge gust of wind just then. It's actually been like a good temperature today. It's been pretty nice. 
Granted, I've still needed to have the windows open, but that's just in preparation for when it got, like, more humid throughout the day. So I I've been, like, cool the whole day, basically. Also, by the way, um, I'm planning on taking Thursday off. I forgot to mention that before. We're probably- because, um, I'm probably going out. And then I'm gonna take Sunday off, maybe. Because, um, that's when the Heavy Eye and Modding Showcase is, and I want to make sure I'm, like, available for it. Also, what's up, Trex? Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, we had, like, one week of just, like, hot as fuck, like... It's, it's like the summer, the sequel. Like, I don't know what happened. It just happened out of nowhere. Doing all right, thanks. I got a, I got, um, I don't know how much. It was like seven or eight seconds world record earlier, but it's not good enough, so I'm still going. And I had a world record pace run. Another one like die in plank, like on the last token. Maybe I should play more TF2. I don't know. But I'm like busy doing other shit. You know, after the stream, um, probably gonna keep practicing Battle Royale game. And, um,. I mean, you know. And I also want to play some Pokemon XD, because I need to grind. Alright, thank you for... You were here for a while, so yeah, thank you for sticking around. And I will see you uh, some other time. Have a good rest of your day. I'm only going to be streaming for another, like, 50, 60 minutes anyway, but yeah. In that time, I could get Recky. I could also never get past, like, Rubber Dub or something. We will see how it goes. Alright, well, the sandwich driving isn't good, but I got past it, so that's, like, mainly what matters.
water. It is good for you. God, 303. More like bad oh bad. Welcome back. Uh, nothing, because I couldn't get past sandwich driving. We were just talking about, like, TF2. And, um... Like, speed games and how movement is, like, extremely important and things like that. The lighting in that image is, like, really weird. <laughs> Movie Strat Hunter. I don't think that's very profitable, unfortunately. That being said, if anybody can find, like, a 30 second time save that isn't toxic, and it works in no pause storage, I will give you one dollar. You know what? I'm feeling generous today. One dollar and five cents. Australian. See, I'm so nice, right? I hope you are. We were thinking of having a bounty before for something. I can't remember what it was now. It might have been Hans the Sable. Ah, oh, fucking hell. What's the condition? 163 Australian. I might as well just give you a dollar five US. All right, I'll just do that. Then I'll give you a I'll give you a dollar five USD. Go find a big strat now, good sir, and you will be rewarded handsomely. That ending movement was really fucking fast. For some reason. I found one la Welcome back, Lena. Um, I guess I am. I got world record, and then I got another run that died on the last token in Plank that, like, most likely would have been world record, and, um... I haven't been able to get anywhere since, but, well, this run might have potential. 
Yeah, no worries, emulating. Thanks for stopping by and for the good luck. Also, thank you for the good luck from you as well, Lena. Please work. Thank you. Also, I I wish I had the yay emote on Discord. I wanted to use it recently, but I don't have Nitro. Damn, what's up with all the golds today, bro? Butter dog. Dog with the butter. Butter on the dog. Butter on the dog. I like butter dog. But you know what I like more? Boobs. Super spin cycle. Dude, I actually forgot the Poggies was an emo because no one's used it since I came back. I literally forgot about it. Oh, um, Jam just made a good point, actually. They announced the iPhone 15 today. Uh, um... I haven't seen it, though. They announced it at 5 o'clock my time, so obviously I was streaming. Uh, well, there were rumors they would have USB-C, so it probably is USB-C. And it has a 48 megapixel camera instead of a 12 megapixel camera. That was the rumors. I don't actually know if it does. I need to watch the thingy. Yeah, but you still want, like, better looking pictures, though. I didn't- I didn't get the end level token. The run's dead, I think. Is it dead? Uh... 
Dude, I pressed select. I literally pressed select. Uh... Holy fuck. Forty bajillion megapixel camera resolution of thirty times ten. I I know the megapixel count doesn't matter that much, but apparently the camera is a lot better. Um, the thing is with the iPhone is that w with Androids they spend a lot of time trying to like do kind of gimmicky things to get you to use the newest Android phone, whereas like Apple has always been like you know building an ecosystem and making reliable features and products, like. The, the specs are not good, but because they make all the specs themselves, the components communicate with them with each other really well. Which is why, even though the iPhone 10 is five whole last years old, it still opens apps like super fast. Because all the co and the battery capacity is still fine because like again, all the components are communicating with each other well. Welcome. Whereas, like, Android is a lot more of, like, oh, look at this fucking stupid gimmicky thing that you don't care about. And also, one thing that people do like about Androids as well is the customizability. I don't care about that, and I don't want to spend, like, ten hours just trying to make it look perfect. I really do not care for that. I'm going to pick a wallpaper, and that's all I'm going to do. Because, it, like, it already looks good anyway. Anyway, like, I don't need, like, I don't need to, like, change the fucking font and shit. A manager is always prepared. We're men. A manager like, I, I just, yeah. Prepared. If the iPhone 15 does not look, uh, interesting enough to me, though, by the time I need a new phone, then I will, I will try and switch to, uh, no, well, I'll, I'll look into other phones. You know, Samsung has been pu putting out some good stuff recently, I've heard. So, you know, I've been thinking about Samsung, you know. Files like what? What files are you putting on your phone? Bocce the Rock. What do you like? Episodes of Bocce the Rock. Also, by the way, speaking of Bocce, actually, you know, you know how like Kaon Twitter users are like racist. You will you will not believe what I saw earlier. Except you know, replace Kaon with Bocce. They they ticked like all the boxes. Twitter blue. Bocce profile picture. They they said that they said hot ah, and they say weird things about black people, um, homophobic. Like yeah. I'm I'm not gonna not say bocce. Sounds so much better than whatever the fuck it was that I'm supposed to say. No, you're supposed to say Jeff. That's you right now. That's you. Kaon is good, Lena. However, it has apparently a 50% chance to make you uber racist. You should watch Kaguya-sama, though. It's fantastic. As well as Kaon. The problem with, like, slice-of-life anime where it's just a bunch of girls who just fucking sit around and eat biscuits and drink tea, like... An anime like that could never be 10 out of 10. It doesn't do enough. It's too safe. You can't, like... You can't get a 10 with that. It's pretty easy to make one of those types of anime and have it be good, at least. But, yeah, it, it is just... Every episode is basically just fucking nonsense, pointless. And an anime like that, I feel I just could not get a 10. If it's, like... 
outstanding. It can get like a nine, but I feel like ten you can't, can't really happen. Maybe I should actually watch BNA this this time. Because like I said before, I watched like two episodes, but I stopped because I couldn't remember when I started watching it. And I wanted an accurate date, so now I have to forget everything so I can watch it again. And then it can technically be like my true first watch, like that kind of thing. You missed uh, your father, Lena. Thirty-five pounds, kind of high. That's why I didn't buy the fucking Hatsune Miku plushie. That shit was like thirty-two pound. Bruh? You don't need a school bunny for 25. My sponge up was 6 quid, bruv. Also, I bought a Bowser plushie. It's small, but it's like amazingly high quality. I got it for like... I got it for like 11 pound. You sleep with it. I slept with your mother. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was, pretty, that was pretty good roast, that was. <laughs> Bruh, that, that could have been good, but I fucking laughed. It kind of fucked it, just then. Kind of fucked it. I mean, $40 for a plushie, you can't really justify. An SSD will last you years, bro. You peaked at middle school. <laughs> bro, where are these bangers coming from, bro? Why am I a hater? Because I don't have a Hatsune Miku plushie. Anyway, um, yeah, no plushies go on my bed. No plushies on the bed for me. The only plushies I have, I have a Magikarp, I have a Jolteon. I have a, a Monokuma, I have a Bowser, and I have Sp Spongy Bubba. And um, I think I have like something else, but I forgot. Also, I do have a bunch of SpongeBob and Plants vs. Zombies plushies like in the attic, but like I can't get quick access to them. My body pillow, um... Not only is it not on my bed, it, it, it always just sits on the floor in a room that I do not sleep in, which is this room. I can't even see it right now because it's behind the chimney. That's not kinky, Shep. Dude. Yes! No fucking way, man. 211? Dude, I barely got it as well. Holy fuck. That's actually nuts. And it somehow didn't gold, but I don't care. I gotta highlight that. That is absolutely fucking insane. I knew fucking- I knew 211 was possible, dude. I fucking knew it. Actually, I probably should highlight the whole thing, because again, it, it can convert to no pause storage. Absolutely insane. That that is uh, Xbox World Records. 
I don't know if anybody else will ever match that with, with like assuming like nothing else gets found for Xbox. I feel like that is like absolute peak. Like I probably lost a few frames here, a few frames there, but like that is like pretty much as good as it gets, I think. Like that that was probably like two eleven point like nine seven or something. Like it was probably like so fucking close. I'm so proud of that, man. It was so good. I didn't even need that stupid fucking strat where you just skip the bulldozer entirely. I didn't even need it. That shit saves like half a second. Didn't even need it. Thank you, Lena. And I pay. Um... Yeah, I suppose so because I'm I'm we're probably never getting better than two, like I, I'm probably never getting better than two eleven unless new things get found. So yeah, I just achieved peak basically. That was so crazy, man. I'm still fucking. That was awesome. Very happy with that. I have peaked as a human being. I don't even care if this run dies now, I just care about that fucking 211, it's crazy. Well, speaking of... <sighs> Holy shit, dude. I, I, that was so crazy. 211, dude. I want to eat the sandwich from sandwich driving. Welcome. You're a big boy, aren't you? Being able to eat the whole fucking thing. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep. Excitement. Adventure. Just another day. Okay, well, we, we'd be we'd be going under the assumption that it wouldn't be like wet. Well, your mom is probably the Sahara Desert. In a breath. This is a job for a manager. This is a job for a manager. A manager is always prepared. So you need a deep fried burger, is just what you're saying. I've had a deep fried uh, chip sandwich before. It was not good. I mean, for a couple bites, it was good, but it was so sickly after that, I couldn't eat the rest of it. Do you guys have Mars bars? Um, for some reason, some chip shops here do deep fried Mars bars. Ah, oh, fuck, I walked to the wrong place. That's the first time I've done that mistake since coming back, to be fair. Like, 
don't you dare deep fry my cat like that. Alright guys, today we're gonna get Patrick into into SpongeBob's combat arena. So you're going to like press R and star at the same time. So now you've like buffered it, and then you warp back to bounce. And uh, as you can see, absolutely nothing happened, but that's part of the plan, and now you actually enter the combat arena. And as you can see, uh, I'm now Patrick. This is clearly Patrick. As you can see, I'm cartwheeling it all over the place. Oh, wow, what the fuck? That was... <laughs> that was... That was a really good combo I just got. You can, yeah, you can, like, do some weird storage. You can press R and start on the same frame. And it doesn't seem to do anything. That time I fucked up the inputs. There's gotta be, like, some sort of combat skill, man. We gotta figure it out. Hold on. Yeah, you can kill, like, most of them just by, like, standing in the middle. Also, it's not actually glitch. Shut up, Rev. Welcome. You know how, like, Battle Runners have started, like, not jumping to turn SpongeBob around? I still feel like it's fast in some cases in movie, like in No Cheese, when SpongeBob's just facing the complete, like, wrong direction. But it's hard to say for sure, but like, but like one one place where I do actually just turn around instead of jumping. Welcome. Um, when I warp to bounce and then like go uh, move back a bit to talk to Mindy, like I don't jump anymore, like like I used to because I figured it's pretty fast to just have Patrick do like a half turn. Three frames? Bro. <laughs> Whatever. I thought it was going to save more than that, man. Alright. Welcome. I'm uh, kind of sucking uh, uh, no cheese right now. What fast food you eating, bro? Welcome. Never fear, good citizens. When, when these nuts. Anyway, that's cool, bro. Hope you're enjoying it. I just remember when for like fucking like 15 minutes or something. Ch 
Chatta and Sam try to convince me of some fucking speed game. Like, they, they kept saying, like, you need to run Good Time Dragon. But I wasn't, I, I you know, I was like, you got, no, well, he, no, well, okay, so what he, what he said, Chatta was like, oh yeah, you told me a few months ago that you wanted to run Good Time Dragon. I was like, no, I did not. Don't you know what that game is? And then eventually, like, it kind of led into, like, what is Good Time Dragon? And it was Good Time Dragon, these nuts across your face. It was just like, okay. Because it doesn't fucking exist. Like a boss. Whoa. I didn't realize it was a D's nuts joke until they fucking... Because... I was so focused on on him saying that I said I wanted to run it when I was like, no, I know I didn't want to, to... Because when he said a few months ago, that would have been 2019, and like I knew that I didn't say that in 2019 because the only game I wanted to run in 2019 because my hands were fucked, I just wanted to go back to movie. I didn't want... No, 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 no. I did not want to run Glover. In any instance where you turn around 180 degrees jumping, it loses four frames. 180? What about... What about no choose? Seems. Well, even if that is the case, because you're trying to skip a cutscene, you'll probably mash, which means that you'll probably end up jumping anyway. So, it's probably not like worth like timing it. Well, yeah, and a Taz. I just, I just feel like surely. I mean, you you turned around so far that surely it wouldn't be faster to. Well, now I'm trying to think of other places now, like 3k bungee warp and shit like that. And, uh, steamed warp. Now what am I supposed to say in, in the next movie tutorial? Um, um, you don't want to jump, but, like, you do want to jump because it's just more convenient, Briv. So basically, the game is bad, is that what you're telling me? Pogchamp. You're a fucking cunt, man. Dude, I think that sandwich driving, like, because I went right- I- okay. So, with SD-101, you normally can't do right side unless you go slow enough to hit the cycle, but it didn't feel slow, it felt fast. I think I might have actually gone fast enough to go for right side for the first time, and I barely fucked it up. If I actually got through that, I would have golded by at least 0.5. That would have been insane. Okay, yeah, Jam confirmed to me that the new iPhone does have USB-C. I do remember that. I don't remember if... Were you even there for the... I don't Because it feels like it was a while ago. I can't remember when you, like, joined the community. Yeah, I'm not the only person that's happened to. I... I think it happened to me first, and then Sam. Or it might have, it might have been the other way around, but I, I don't remember. The thing is, as well as ironically, it would have been fast. But back then, we didn't know the right side saved time. 
So I just went the left side. So like it, it was kind of cringe because it was just like, yeah. like if I in theory, if it gets stuck there, then you you can just it, you'll save time. But I just didn't think to to do it. Yeah. All right. I'm really glad I came back when I did because only, a m yeah, it was like exactly a month later. Rubbit of Skip got found. If I try to get back into the game after the trick got found, I don't think that would have worked. It also would have ruined my plans of like. When I came back to the game, the idea was that I hadn't played in eight months, so I was gonna do like a no reset and like just see what like time I could get and like work my way down. It wouldn't have worked nearly as well if I had to also learn Rubidub Skip. And then I could have just not learned Rubidub Skip and then I'd lose my fucking record, so that it that might have demotivated me too much because of how hard Rubidub Skip is and me instantly losing my time. I probably would have just quit the game, to be honest. Well, not quit the game. I mean, not come back. I would. I probably would have not come back. Game six. Well, Oofsta would have, and then I would have lost my world record. And then I would have been discouraged and probably not come back like a boss. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Your mum bad in bed. Your mum bad in bed. Your mum breaking bed. Dude, I'm gonna have a thousand attempts in this uh, category, like, next stream pretty easily. It's going to literally really cement in how much I've played this category. I don't remember my attempt count when I came back to this category, but I think it was, like, at most, like, 200. I, like, I... <laughs> yeah. Yeah, being awesome runs in the family, bro, you wouldn't know. Bruh, I pressed the reset key a bunch of times and it didn't work. That makes literally no sense. Welcome. Uh, also, uh, the stream is gonna end relatively soon, so... Have you, have you guys seen Bear, it, Bear in the Big Blue House? And they always sing, like, the goodbye song with the moon at the end. We're gonna have to do that, except I don't remember any of the lyrics at all. Except for that one part where they're just like... Goodbye, goodbye, all my friends, goodbye. I think he says all my friends. 
If not, then it's just goodbye, goodbye, something, something, goodbye. <laughs> and that's and, and that's literally like the only part I know. Anime recommendation. Oh god, um Blend S. It's a really good anime to watch, like, to get into anime, because it's a safe slice of life, but it's good at what it does. It also has a femboy in it, so I, th I, think, you I think you'd like it. Um, I'm more of a fan of North Korean animation myself. Welcome. Never fear, good citizens of Bikini Bottom. The manager is here. Yep, excitement, adventure, just another day in the life of a manager. <laughs> Don't forget GameCube, bro. Don't forget. To be fair, the GameCube version is really bad, but that is the one that most people grew up with. How many people grew up with the Xbox version? Like, fucking like, two people, bro. Everybody else, like, and then, like, 65% of people grew up with, like, the GameCube version, and then 35% grew up with... 34.9% grew up with the PS2 version, and then... 0.1%. Played on the ge on the Xbox version because that that console was expensive and it was for like manly men. So it's like, why the fuck would you be playing SpongeBob SquarePants games? You know what I mean? So yeah, I guess I do have stuff to do after the stream then. I'm gonna highlight the 211 and see if it's a no-pause storage gold. In addition to that, I am going to, uh, I guess, watch, like, the fucking Apple thingy. And, um... Then I can- then I gotta, like, obviously brush my teeth and shit. SpongeBob. That is true. Like, if 0.1% of people play the Xbox version, then 0.0001% play the PS3 version. Luckily, we do have, like, a, the files for it, so we can actually play on modded PS3s. I, I've put it on the modded uh. PS3. It is not a good version of the game. Especially, you know, at that point, it would just be better to have a backwards-compatible PS3 and just put your PS2 movie copy in there. What's up, Crash? Thank you for good luck. Hope you've had a good day.
I feel like my sandwich driving movement just then felt, like, really good. My sandwich movement. However, that trick was not performed very fast. But, you know, again, like I said before, like, it's, I guess a lot of it is just getting out of the segment. But this will probably be, like, a 245. Actually, nah, like, it'll be a 244. Let's see. Yeah. Two forty low two forty three. Must have really been on a good run then. A good sandwich driving. If I only lost that much. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. Because right. I played Mix recently on vacation, and yeah, no, damage loss would be hot as hell. Mostly because of the final level. It would seriously be so bad, pretty much mostly because of the final level. Um, but there's also, like... I'd say even Sam Mountain is deceptively hard in that regard. There's, like, a spatula that's on top of, like, spikes, basically, so it's, like... And then there's a chuck- there's, like, chucks in the way as well. I just- I feel like you gotta avoid that one entirely. I just wouldn't want to do it because I can't guarantee that, like, most people would want to watch it. With the BFB BB one, it didn't matter to me too much because I was getting $50 regardless. But then it turned out that people wanted to watch it, whereas, like, Mix is very specific. I bet a lot of people have never seen it before, or don't remember a lot of it. Or don't think it's as interesting because it's, you know, a hack. Like, imagine you're a random guy, right? And you hear about SM64 damage loss, and you're like, wow, that's really cool. And then you hear, like, insert hack you've never heard of, of before, of SM64 damage loss. And then you're like, oh, I mean, it's probably impressive, but I don't really care. Well, yeah, you're all, people are automatically going to care less if it's a hack, just like how people automatically care about categories less if they're on extensions. Isn't my token count wrong, is it? No, 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 it's not. 
I thought it... Yeah, no, 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 never mind. Thunder Block will be 8, Bounceless will be 9, Sponge Ball will be 10, and then, yeah, it's correct. Also, the, it's, it's, uh, it's been, it's been six hours. So this will be my final, and because it's a round, I'm on a round of the 10 right now, 980, so I think this is the time, final run of the day. I really, really do not think so. I wouldn't just be playing battle instead of movie, which is already a bit risky, but then I'd be playing a hack as well and doing like a really arbitrary challenge. I genuinely think that people would rather watch me do battle 100% damage loss. Final run forever until tomorrow. Yeah, I mean, I plan to stream tomorrow, hopefully. I'm feeling like more of a man already. I don't think I got that, TBH. Uh, okay, I did get it. That is very unprompted. Why did you say this? I think you're fucking stupid, Briv. How about that? Be sure not to oh my god, I hate this game. Alright, how much did I lose? I lost hardly anything. Interesting. I don't know how I manage that. I gotta time, like, different 3k endings, I think. I gotta... Yeah. Uh, welcome back, but I'm just about to go off. I, I usually stream for about six hours. It's been six hours, uh... Yeah, I'm going offline now. I need to highlight some stuff, I guess, some things to do. Um, I'm just trying to get, at this point, probably, probably like an 8 second PB or something at this point, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'll be live tomorrow at like 11 EST, otherwise known as 4pm my time in the UK. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I will be here tomorrow, so, uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.